They used to be one and three when I went to their games. <laughs> it's a new day. Yeah, so now they're two yeah. and three when I'm there. <laughs> but uh, just to kind of, this is going to be a topic on the main show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I loved Pittsburgh when I was there. Pittsburgh's it's fun. Not, I'll just, that's the one city I've always said I wanted to go to and people give me shit for it. I'm like, it looks pretty. They give you shit if you want to go anywhere in the Midwest because they're like, true. why do you want to go to Cleveland, I mean, Cincinnati? I don't know which one of them are good. Than Midwest, <laughs> you know? I think Pittsburgh is definitely better than Cleveland. I think Pittsburgh's no. better. Be- yeah, better than anywhere in Ohio. Ohio's trash. <laughs> as well. Like, yeah, no, fuck those states yeah. and cities. Like, at least you have Philly on the other end. Like, mm-hmm. P- P- uh, Pennsylvania. I've heard Philly is a really good music scene. Like, if you want to really? go see a concert, Philadelphia is the place to go. I believe okay, that. I could see that, yeah. I would say, like, Pittsburgh... It's pretty. Um, I like. I, I do like the bar scene there. The food there is kind of eh. Like it was. Uh, well, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I liked the uh, fruity pebbles French toast that I got. <laughs> <laughs> the best That's the kind of stuff you get there, you know. The best. The best food there, in my opinion. It's uh, it's ham. It's there's this brand of uh, deli ham called mm-hmm. Isley's Chip Chopped Ham. It is like. Two bucks a pound, and it's just ninety percent fat, and it's delicious. It sounds great. <laughs> it's really good. It's the Midwest, or I guess we'll call Pittsburgh the Midwest. It's not though. Nah. But See, like, it, look. Oh, that uh, looks amazing. Yeah, it was great. Mm. Uh, okay. oh, that's, oh, that's <laughs> that the, looks gourmet. That, I wasn't expecting yeah, it to. That's look the fruity that pebble. That actually does look pretty good. That looks really good. Yeah. Where wow. to find a great brunch in Pittsburgh? Yes. Yes. Oh, we don't, I don't know. They are live. I yeah. never know with him. <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs> I know that you guys are live. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. We, we never don't. Do that. Ever, yeah. <laughs> we don't go that far. About Israel, no, no. I'm not, not touching it. Yeah, I don't know enough to say anything about Me that. Me either. <laughs> Purposely so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, every, Official Mexican statement. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I thought you were going somewhere else. With yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Do you just have a like clip of Cosgrove from Freakazoid just saying that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, my mom's calling. Oh snap. Hello. <laughs> Message from Mama Tom I'm on the online. Show right now. <laughs> Mama yeah, Tommy. Can you hear me? Mama McGrew. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Holla if you hear me. <laughs> I'm on the show right now. Okay, I'll we'll, I'll call you after the show then. Where's TJ? The roast cannot begin without him. <laughs> Love you too. Bye-bye. Uh, Says hi. Nice. <laughs> hi, Mama McGrew. <laughs> um, but yeah, Samantha got to meet every. She yeah, she got to meet my brother, my sister, and my mom. Uh, their significant others. Um, yeah, the only one she didn't get to meet was my dad because his hips have been acting up. And I told her that's a blessing in disguise because you want to know how my dad is uncomfortable. He'll tell you <laughs> when he is in pain. He will. He will let you know. So how old is your dad? He is sixty-five. Oh well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? I expect, honestly, and this is skewed, my mom's brothers, yeah. they're all older than he is. Right. And they take pretty damn good care of themselves. Like, where, where 65 the, is tough. It's a, it's a crossroads. He, he acts like he's 80. Like, he, he acts. What's the man he, feel like? He's <laughs> he acts. Hey, Sam, where's the orange? Oh. I, I thought it was the. Oh shit! <laughs> I this. Yeah. yeah. Are you bitter today, TJ? Are I'm, you bitter today? It is. It was literally <laughs> TJ's worst weekend in sports for it a was, while. It's true. You, you, you want to talk about more. a fall from grace? Mm. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. What the colors of your hoodie says otherwise? <laughs> says you're very happy today. No, no, <laughs> My no. hoodie says MSG Tingle. <laughs> it's, no, it's a happy no. hoodie. No orange, no blue, like just any color to not remind him of a, this weekend. Mm, <laughs> it's a rough weekend for TJ. <laughs> it's a bad weekend for that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's handling it well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, congratulations, y'all. You, you beat, you beat the race. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, Lamar t- 
tends to not play very well against us. He's a questionable character. He, that Lamar Jackson. He looked but really good in the first quarter. You looked better this week than you did last week when you lost against the Texans. Got I mean, blown out by the that, It's not saying much. As, yeah, a, as a bit it. of a it's preview, um, yeah. Yeah. we are doing power rankings today. It's very hard to do with us as inconsistent as everyone has been. This has been the weirdest season so yeah. far. So, what is it? Oh, no, half half the league is 3-2 and two and the other half is 2-3. Yeah. and three. It's, it's strange. The Steelers are winning their division right now at 3-2. What? And two. what? Yeah, are you kidding me? They're number one in the division at 3-2 and two, wow. and with the third worst offense in the league. You're get, Matt you're, Cannon ain't going nowhere. Uh, it's they so promote him. fresh. No, they're not. To, to what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't retire as Cannon no. takes over. No. I mean, no, no. Do you, uh, the only reason the Steelers won was because they called an audible. Yeah. <laughs> that, throw, that throw to Pickens, uh, pick it to Pickens. Yeah. 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 And it was before that. I thought like, Mans was injured, by the way. Who? Kenny? Yeah. I thought he was, too. He, he played like it for 90% of the game. He's played like it since he was drafted. When we were there, after we got that turnover, oh I was God. like, all right, we're just two. <laughs> We're just two field goals away that, from, I, from winning this. Like that was that was a punishment drink. I just saw it. I was like, that looks fruit flavor. Yeah, he just no. took it. Oh, it must be that a Peter punishment. Got a salt. No. Oh, that, that was the one guys. that made Gertz gag. I'm not drinking that. Which one? That's a great punishment. <laughs> Why is it so artificially sweet? Which, Look at it. It's, it's bang mix. Which drink? It's is not that? even a regular it was bang. The bang pina colada one. Oh, okay. oh, the purple one wasn't Come that on. bad. The purple one was pretty good, but I like purple. <laughs> Purple's one of my favorite flavors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple, blue, and red. A lot of was safe. It's I mean, do, safe. You, do, do you want to drink your punishment drink now? Or? Sure. I mean, you already cracked it open. <laughs> yeah. You have to just get it. Where's out my of punishment way. drink? It's the, that the one you just, just had. The one you just drank out of. I, I thought we had a different one. No, that's it. <laughs> I mean, you can do either or. There's a milk beer in there. So. I feel like, can you get the man a, like, just give him a pass. No, no, no give me he's that had milk a beer. Rough one. He's gone for two weeks. He can't, he's oh. unpunishable. That's yeah, true. yeah, that's yeah, true. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch this heat. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what are we gonna do if TJ loses a week that he's not here? Just I'll, gotta... I'll send in a video message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. You want to see me drown this bottle of sake? <laughs> <laughs> no, to... that's not a. Yeah. That is not a punch. Yeah, next to some crying Japanese man. Yeah. It's got to be something in Japan that you won't like. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, I mean, I like, I, I, I don't love sake, but again, I haven't had it in Japan, so it's probably better. Do they have yeah, four sure loco in Japan? <laughs> Oh, you know what? They have a bunch of. Uh, uh, I have an idea. So uh-huh. if I lose, I have an idea. Okay. I'll send a night. They have plenty of alcohol. Don't choices. fake. Pull it up. Pull up Japanese convenience store alcohol, and they will show you. Oh, they have their <laughs> brand of, of Mickey's. And no, they just have so MD much. Twenty twenty. Oh, whatever you're thinking, it's like a mystical, magical wonderland of alcoholic beverage choices. Fun. Do I try, just go straight to images? images? All right. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Look. No, no, not that. Why'd you pick the lamest one, Marco? That one right there. Yeah, no, nope, next to it. Because it's the one we can read. I can't read that. You're just showing the options. That's a convenience store. It's colorful enough. It's colorful. Yeah. Those are all different flavors. Dude, what are you oh. talking about? That's just an American convenience. That's it Crawford, sense. Bach, that's Dos Equis. But on the like, far n- side, man. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the corner there, you'll see whale. <laughs> but you can go up and like you can pick the one where you can read the one before that one. I got a... Well, I mean, the one after that one. Well, I mean, you can clearly read that one. I, I don't know what Strong Zero is, but that's the one I'd make you drink. Yeah, strong, no, Strong Zero is the one I'd have to drink. Looks delicious. Mm. They said Strong Zero is the Gaijin killer, which is the foreign killer. Oh, oh okay. It's the one I, I'm already having to drink it because someone has you not already done that. I'm not. I'm not been to Japan. What? I thought you go to Japan. I thought you've been to year. Japan before. Mm-hmm. Never been before. Oh wow! Really? I was supposed to go to 2020. Oh. You speak fluent Japanese. Uh, close, but. Uh, <laughs> That's not the point. It's it's the matter of like you know when you. This entire time I just assumed. No, you know when you prep you for something really really heavy Japan. and then it just <laughs> doesn't work out and then I've just been in the hyperbolic time chamber every Saturday. I have I have Japanese lessons. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck. I missed my Japanese lesson yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that'll affect you. Maybe the school is closed for uh, <laughs> National I didn't Indigenous get a text. Day. Um, but yeah, no, it's a. Uh, so I've never been. Okay. Um, I've always wanted to go. Right. And then oh, well, it was supposed to be a yearly thing off of 2020, but then I was going to go in 2022, and then they had weird restrictions. So I can go yeah. this year. Is that like weeks. your dream spot? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's one of them. One of them, yeah. It has to be. Mm. Okay. Bring some. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not been, I've he, not been to Asia. Bro, you don't pay attention to the chat. No. He literally said. I asked take- both. <laughs> huh? He literally said he's taking an extra duffel bag. Anything For that us? you want. Yes. 
as well, as a request. Let's rephrase. Let's let's rephrase that. Where? You get one whale. <laughs> I got gotcha. hey, what a a price brick of whale meat. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a nice little pack of uh, whale meat. Yeah. And horse meat what, together. Even if it's like in sausage form, so it keeps some fun with that. What's the limit? <laughs> the limit How is. How expensive are we talking? Here? The limit is. It's a gift, not Christmas. It's a side hoe <laughs> gift. Unless you give them money. Unless you give me money, your range goes up. Okay, Mr. Grinch. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm or, Mr. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> or Mr. Potter, it's a wonderful life. Not when yes, TJ's sir. going to Japan. So. Yes, mm. Not good. I was going to surprise <laughs> all this stuff anyway. I, yeah, that's it. I was going surpri- to surprise the Did people. Did you say a keychain? Anyway. I don't know. He, I thought it was just all out. I wanted a life-size. You think life I'm size, poor? Huh? I wanted a life-size Goku. You know you can buy keychains here. <laughs> he probably would. No airport, no airport gifts. <laughs> yeah. Unless they have like. That unevent. I've seen. I've seen that happen. It's, it's probably. Let me back. Let myself. me also. It's probably food. Okay. Like if they got whale pepperoni or something, that'd be great. You want even this whale? Give the man I want to eat whale jerky. It. Yeah, yeah. Some, some whale jerky because I you can't. You can't eat it. that here. I kind of yeah, want that too. I think so, I think yeah. so too. I'll actually. take so that too. I want exotic shit. Gotcha. Give me some real I, exotic shit. I want like like true blue exotic I, shit. Got see, it. I I asked him for a Japanese rugby jersey. But I was like, if you can figure out the sizes, yeah, yeah, if you can figure out, well, the the World Cup in rugby is happening right now, so it's, oh. it's possible. Okay, but it is also the issue is that like Hassan is uh, Sammy's height and my like width, yeah, mm. and he was a five X, so I don't want him to spend five X money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he has a lot of fabric. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Get, get your limit in. Get the man his rugby jersey. Give us all whale jerky. And we're good. Yeah. I want to eat an animal what that you can want, feel Sam? empathy. <laughs> three, three, three uh, whale jerky. Three, three whale jerky. Give me a hat. A hat? <laughs> Not whale jerky. You want a hat. Get him a, get a, get him a chopper hat. He doesn't. He won't even know what it is. That's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can really get this Ooh, whale get jerky. Japanese minor league baseball hat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's actually Josh, man. Actually, That's a good idea. Give me a manga. An authentic. <laughs> do, you want, do you want the porn manga? I was just about to you say. You know what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> give, me one, give me a porn manga. Get one of the gay porn mangas. <laughs> They're really graphic. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go for it. Andrew <laughs> bought one, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Andrew went to Japan not that long ago. Japanese <laughs> yeah, uh, a yaoi. Uh, I'll get you one of like them up-and-coming artist ones. They get real into it. <laughs> Got, got something Dezushi, to prove. De- <laughs> okay. No. Oh, God. I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Yeah. When you buy them, the pages are sticky. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, whoa. They don't even come off the assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, why does this smell that's like erotic. oil jerky? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the level of erotic I'm talking about. Yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. You, you need a muse to make more art kind of thing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's tell them, Sam. So, whale jerky, porn manga. And whatever Sammy Vending machine panties. That's the Japanese wants, experience right there. The <laughs> Marcos, equip me with this milk beer so I can sip on something as I milk cry. Beer? It's, it's over there in the thank you for shopping bag. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for buying uh, those garbage. Hey, check it. Let me, uh, let me put some context here. What is Number this? Number one, I have my hair out and proud today. I see that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's what happens when I don't even have it picked out right now. This is just... Oh, no, nah, it hurts too much. Uh, second... <laughs> This is a lemon meringue pie milkshake IPA with lemon graham cracker cuss and milk sugar. That could sounds be horrendous. Great or terrible? We're gonna see. We're getting it started mm. early. It's TJ's sad weekend. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> All right. To, to be. I don't know what that face means. It's like it wants to be good. <laughs> it's trying real it's not, hard. It's not joy. I know that. <laughs> yeah, that ain't joy. It's somewhere between. I feel like I've been seeing you miserable since Sunday night. <laughs> I was real miserable then, dog. <laughs> it cracked me up, like, right when that DAC interception was thrown. <laughs> Marcos, I was in the middle of texting something shitty, and Marcos was like, TJ is throwing a fit. <laughs> I didn't even bother. See, I give I, you breaks. Well, you weren't paying attention, let's be real. I wasn't, I was moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't act like you're being nice. <laughs> How are you still moving? <laughs> it's a lot of shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm done moving, I'm packing. Put it that Yeah, I'm packing. Wait. Unpacking or packing? Unpacking. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I moved somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So move so, again. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was tough. It was a tough move. But I'll let you make it. You're welcome. Thank you. How yeah. far was the move? Like how many? Like, mm, probably 15 minutes, yeah, I feel like. 15, Are you still north? Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. North or Round Rock? Super north. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just come down Mopac now. 
Yeah. Um, Great shot. Did you, was it uh, new for both? Just you? What do you mean? Like, because I know you. Did she have did, her own like, place? Like, did you? You yeah, know, we, we both moved from separate apartments Into the, in that, okay. Austin to Rock. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. Do you like the space? Is it bigger for you? <laughs> oh. Yes. It's spacious as fuck. That's so, good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's home life is weird. I, I blew leaves today. And the what? What'd you say? I blew leaves. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, is yeah. it a home proper? Yeah. It's a house. That's it's nice. A house. It's a house, yeah. It's got back. I got a lawnmower. I don't mm. want to use it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, garage, it's shitty. I mean, dude, why don't you just... I used to pay white kids to mow my lawn for 20 bucks. It's no crackheads around. That's the best labor. He's like, my zip code has too much money. <laughs> it's not. No. It's not. <laughs> I think there's chickens across the street. Yeah. Oh, it's somebody. It's a lot of cars parked in 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 yards. <laughs> it's just country. I That's love not... no. Fuck that. That's where I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do HOAs and shit. Fuck that. Like I need. I need that. I need freedom. Mm. You know, the property value chicken. stays the same. Yes, it's been the same <laughs> since '86, <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> that's perfectly fine by me. I um. Hey man, I'm happy for you. I hate. I don't. Thank you. So I. I hate moving. I think we oh, talked about this. Terrible. I, I don't. I don't oh, yeah. love moving. Yeah. Uh, but I do like getting a new space. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. The oh, act yeah. of getting a new space is nice. Yeah. yeah. If it could just come equipped with my shit. Right. It'd be perfect. It'd be great. Yeah. It'd be great. Yeah. No, you gotta. You gotta get the stress of moving, which is terrible. Because right. like you know we've looked at places because we were like oh we want to kind of you know upsize a little bit. Yeah. Um. Because me buying this home is never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> you are how old? What do you mean you don't qualify for a two bedroom house that's four hundred and fifty thousand? That's not what I want. To it's the in- no, okay. Now the houses are more affordable, and they the are. interest rate is bullying you out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if it was nineteen ninety one, TJ, you'd have three houses. Seven. Yeah. Um, I can go back in time. Would have been like, fuck all this American yeah. dream bullshit, mom yeah. and dad. You old man, Google mm. stock. You lady, <laughs> buy these homes in Austin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. And then come up and be more posh than I wish I could ever be. But yeah. no, I like the. So we were looking at, but but man, like, you know, my apartment's not small. No, so, it's very so, spacious. So so when I like when I think about taking that shit, yeah, moving it to some other shit, it, I die on the inside. It looks mm. like it's not that much shit. No, it, can can you imagine taking so apart your sound it's system? So, so much. No, I look. So I said there's going to be two things that will be the last things out of the house. It would 100. percent be any electronics yeah. mm-hmm. because good god the office and living room set up alone that's all renters insurance is for so i thought i was done and i forgot my closets <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing i'm moving tommy <laughs> no and then I, th- I thought i was doing great i'm like oh shit this was easy and i forgot my closet <laughs> is that where you keep your clothes some of them. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, a lot of shit in there, Gert. Yeah, that's a what a whole lot of shit. That's what a closet is for. Is yeah. for putting things in. And I just throw shit in there. So <laughs> it literally is just stacked in there. Tommy, I don't mean to block you off real quick. I want to give a shout out to the chat. They're carrying conversations. They are. from the Discord. Yeah, dude, they're, they're, get, they're giving dating advice. Yeah, I mean, no, no, this was asking like, hey, how's that date? And I remember seeing that in the Discord. Oh, mm-hmm. people got dates. I wanted. I would like to know about these things. Well, they got. Well, all you gotta do is open the Discord, Tommy. I don't know what that yeah, is. J- <laughs> Tina was oh, yeah. like, hey, if someone's in the Bay Area, come yeah. through. I got an extra ticket for some. I appreciate it. Y'all keep on inviting people to the Discord. Have conversations. Someone show me how to do it and I'll be on. Okay, I'll do it. On I dirt. live in suburbia now. I don't know what you want from me. I'm old <laughs> as fuck. My knees hurt. <laughs> old is a mindset. No, nah, it's a real, it's it's tangible. It's, you get old and shit starts to hurt. You don't know yet. You're My- still in your 20s. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I th- I'm you 20 it, light. Gert. Mm-hmm. You get it. Oh, yeah. No, it's 20 true. Light. It's late. It starts to hurt. First of all, Not this Gertz is a, for whatever reason. I was about to say, Gertz is a bad example as well because he's what fucking mean? gardening and shit. Yeah, and, man. And he's doing pleasant <laughs> shit. Photo ops everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. We talked about this. What is it? At that bar, right? Yeah, like, 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 oh, yeah fuck you. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, if you go, if you go back into history... Must be grumpy shit. Yeah. Real dirt shit. Yeah. 
got into a relationship, he was like, "Man, I made these Biscoff cookies." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Y'all like y'all know peanut butter compliments the dough so well." <laughs> like, yes, yeah, sure. he, he started being like my petunias, yeah. <laughs> begonias yes. first and foremost, sir. You got, have you guys done painting with a twist yet? I can't wait for those photos. What is that? Oh, that's wine and painting. Huh? It's what? Wine and painting. Oh, it's actually oh. like right there by uh, the Chili's. Yeah, it's right next door. Oh. Oh. Have, at, have at it. No, it's right next to the daquiri place. Oh. The daquiri's to it's, it's the same parking lot. It's the same, it's the same strip mall. Yeah. <laughs> Just write it down. That's a good date for you. I, mean, had a quick question. I don't think you need up. help. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. So I had a quick question. Beetlejuice or Mean Girls musical are coming to town and I can only afford one. Which one do you suggest? Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Oh, okay. Beetlejuice if you're going with Lauren Boebert. No. <laughs> if you're going with her, then it might be worth it. <laughs> Other than that, no. Back to your point, Tommy. Uh, shit will start to hurt for no reason. Oh, I hurt, on the day. I hurt my foot by walking. I went for a walk, like a normal healthy activity, and my left foot is just like, oh, I'm in pain now. I sprained my ankle coming down two flights, like <laughs> one, yeah, I mean, like two stairs, two steps. I know, I know, you're a pretty active guy. You literally have a home gym in yeah, one of your rooms. I, I make a point to stay in decent shape. But how often do you stretch? That's the. That's I, need, the I do need important. to stretch more. But how do you stretch your foot? It's like a bone in my I foot. Know, I know, I know. It's a way I feel. <laughs> Okay. I uh, yeah, I was about to say like it, it, I know it sounds silly, but literally like stretching will give you an extra 10, 15 years. Yeah. Okay. I, I will, I've started doing it a little bit. I need to do it more. I will say like I had to. I started incorporating stretching more. Yeah. Um. And first of all, my body said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa nigga, no." <laughs> <laughs> that shit hurts at yeah. first, and it's well, like I can't do that because I'm. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? This uh, like, fortunately, like. I've been a pretty okay on flexibility, yeah. but I was like, you know what? I want to actually incorporate it like it's a weightlifting day. Yeah. And so, mm. like, you know, I'm like, cool. Like, I treat it like a full on activity. That shit's the hardest day if next you, to it, abs. Like, I was like, this shit sucks. If you want, if you want to see how it fucks you up, dude. What I'd start with actually is going to see like one of those massage therapists that's like, hey, get all the knots out of my back. Right. You're gonna spend an hour like basically in torture because you have so many knots that you don't know of yeah. because yeah. you haven't stretched in five, 10 years. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, I've, I've been to, I went to a, a massage therapist like for the first time, maybe like last year sometime. And yeah, no, all those I've knots never, are back. If I it's been a year, I had one. And like when I was done, I felt weird. It's like my head felt like it was a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> like it was just detached from the rest of my body. It was very, it was a very strange feeling, but yeah, no stretching, it's very important. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend harps on that a lot. And eating. I know your diet is not the best, Tommy. Oh, fuck, man. Like, that's the one thing I can't do. I yeah. can't do it. I can help you with that. How? I can show yeah. you the world. I've offered to help both of you multiple times. <laughs> How? Send me your grocery list. Okay. And I will provide alternatives to your grocery list. Things that are close to what you get that are more nutritious and better. I for don't you. think that's possible. Girl. It, it, I think. Hey, it Costco. Is. You know what? Costco has these uh these these chicken nugget things. Yeah. Motherfuckers came in clutch. Yeah. They killed the macro game. I, I'm I, I'm, I'm with frying them in lard. Well, don't do that. Don't do hey, that. You buy water. Yeah. It tastes good, Sam. He doesn't buy it. He goes do to the pigs next to his house. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's animal fat. About, it's natural. Do it one day a week. Do eat correctly one day? No, no. Eat like shit one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> he said eat correctly one day a week. No, that's I not. Say, I could do that. I no, think I could He was like, yeah. That. No, no you, you make an event. Like a, you make an event out of eating like crap. And it's great. Oh. It, Man, yeah. It, there's so many there's so many little things like yeah. I mean, coming from like how temperamental like my body you, can be. Like mine like so I react bad if I don't have like straight up I'm about to yeah. shit right now. I like because I don't eat a lot through the day. Right. Hey, one I eat after this one time, yeah. all day, every day. And you'd be like, Oh well that's a little guy when you don't move and you don't and you eat that one meal and your only thing is you do is weightlifting. Yeah. It's like you so you, you find the fine tune in your body. But if it's bad food, which is the only thing apparently so, you know? I, I think you you cynical mother like you evil motherfuckers, every last one of you, you'll be happy to know. Why I ate Burger King today and was sick as shit. Well, like my body's turning on on my favorite foods, and I don't appreciate it. I mean, in any way, I, I, don't I know what to do. That's not your I body turning on you. That's your body saying, "Please stop." It's a bitch. <laughs> my body's a little bitch. <laughs> I mean, I, I told you Take this. Take the jack in the box, you hoe. Like, <laughs> like, I, I told you this two years ago that yeah. I was like, um, your body just uh, 
it, it adjusts to certain greases. So okay. I don't eat Popeyes that often. Probably, and I don't at all anymore. That's, that'd be tough for me. <laughs> well, I don't because I get sick. I get, mm-hmm. And then I, mean, I told I you that two years ago, and you box for years. But I, I, I hey, I'm staying the course. I You're probably still adjusted to it, but I, I <laughs> But I'm just saying that. I didn't, I didn't. I remember I told you I was like, yeah. dude, I'm sorry, I was late. Like I was feeling oh, like yeah. shit, and you were like, dude, if I couldn't eat Popeyes, I'd kill myself. <laughs> I didn't go that far. <laughs> no, you 100 percent made that joke. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I don't know what I would do. Life would just not feel like it'd be life. Like, it'd, well, you it'd accept be good. Oh. you accept your weak. Like I like I said, I think the first thing is accepting. Like, what's your weak point when it comes to, like you know, healthiness? Yeah, like and then oh, it's trying. Food. And then trying your best to, because like if like I would say food is probably one of the hardest ones yeah. to deal with. Yeah. Um, lack of activity, like that like, one too, uh, is a problem uh, for me. Uh, 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 stop! Pick one, nigga. <laughs> like, you I don't get, like you get to work one. out. Shit's uncomfortable. So I'll put it this way. Hey, yeah. I'll put myself out there. My mother made my, fun of me so for that. Mine, like, is, <laughs> mine is lack of yeah. cardio. Because. I it's don't walking. Do a lot of that's easy. Yeah, you just walk outside. Yeah. I, that's why I've been doing the ten thousand steps okay. every day, and it's it's been like cool right. because you notice how different your body is when it's not cardio. I can be in a gym all fucking every day, uh, um, four to five times a week. Yeah. Doesn't matter if I'm not moving enough to compensate for that. Especially because you know when I one thing I didn't make, make yeah. one adjustment I didn't make when I started working from home was realizing how little I walk, like how much I walked when I was in the office, right? Yeah, you I have walked to make a that lot adjustment. when I was in the office. Because I worked downtown, has, yeah. you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. worked in the same building. <laughs> so you park yeah. somewhere, you'd be like, "Damn, yeah, I have to go to lunch. <laughs> I gotta walk so that somewhere." Was a, that was two blocks right there. Now I work from home, and so I'm just like, "All right, I'll just stay here." And so, like, uh, I would say food is way harder than that. I'm not going to lie. Like, and this would shock you. I'm not a big sugar guy. So, oh, I know that. I can, yeah, I can eliminate sugar easily. No, it's not dude, about sugar. You either are into, like, I don't know how to put it, but like bacon and fried food, or you're into sweets. Like, fried bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sweets, but I just don't. Ah, oh, man, I wish, like. Oh, I don't discriminate. I like both. <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday? Oh, my God, it's disgusting. That one day a week? Yeah. How, how does four days sound, Gertz? It sounds like you won't live very long. But you'll be happy. <laughs> no, you will spend You will spend a good portion of your short lifespan in a lot of pain. <laughs> But happy in the short term. No, well, maybe like a little yeah. bit. I'm all about. The sh- Have you ever seen now, like my 600 pound life with Doctor Now? Speaking <laughs> of the Now, really you, yeah, his name is oh, Doctor no. Now, and he sounds like I, I, I think he's Middle Eastern, and yeah. he kind of sounds like Droopy the dog, <laughs> and he just like roasts these people that refuse to change their lives and just lie about oh, what they no. eat. Like there's like a. My favorite clip was uh, Samantha showed me this show. This person's like complaining. was like, well, I don't want to be malnourished. And this is a person who's 600 pounds. And he just flat out says, do you look like you're malnourished? <laughs> just like that. And I was just like, yo. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, that's what it people- takes when someone's that when that when someone's that bad. You have to be pretty just blunt and It's harsh. actually yeah. kind of, it, this won't work for you because right. you're ki- kind of skinny. But like, it is kind of funny, like. Somewhere about 350, it's so easy to lose weight because it's like... Really? Yeah, because you just... Everything is progress. Yes. Okay. Like, well, there's, some, there's somebody out there that weighs 650, and they're starting to lose weight, but just their morning exercise is getting out of bed 15 times. Yep. And then just... More and more every yeah. step of the way. Like, it's it's just... Uh, like I said, it's... Uh, I mean, come from someone who is doing some extra things outside yeah. of that, like... It's so interesting how the body just operates in some like weird facets, and it's just about making those switches and knowing what your body does. Mm-hmm. Um, the kick, I mean, the easiest part, like I mean, how about it? The the biggest difference maker is always going to be the kitchen. Um, yeah. Whether that's and to be honest, it's it's two fronts. It's like yeah. eating more, eating less. Like, it, it, and it could literally it's be to the point where you have to like eat little meals throughout the day. A little, and not even you can do snacks. little meals, intermittent fasting. Like There's a lot of things. To, yeah, it's, it's like a lot and of weird and it's shit. just like um, oh, and then sleep. Sleep's a big one. Sleep's a big one. Sleep's yeah. a big one for me too. Yeah, that um, one I can get on board with. That one, I, <laughs> that I, one I'm. I with. I have a bad habit of staying up too late, and not getting enough sleep. I do too. Yeah. I <clears throat> like. Well, like, I mean, I could if work didn't get in the way. But then also, do you check your indicators? Like, is your blood work good? All that kind of stuff. Oh, that requires me to go to the doctor. Okay, well, you should. When's the last time you've been? Oh, I go, like, for like four or five months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's no, let's keep up with it, because that's the easiest thing to do. Like, you know I, you know I don't feel good. What's wrong with me? 
The, was it, was it, <laughs> well, Tommy, you're frying your things in lard. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a million times. <laughs> was, was your blood work good? Yeah. Surprisingly so. I See? thought it was going to be much worse <laughs> than what it was. That's that's what like that's that's always a good baseline. It was, my, of course, the classic, you know, eat better, get more exercise. But, I mean, blood pressure you know what my doctor said? too bad. He, literally, he was like, I see your blood work. You're perfectly fine. That means you have to run. And I said, I don't want to run, doctor. Mm. I'm, I lift all this weight. He's like, I know. Run. And yeah. I said, cool. And that makes a big difference. Just because so, you feel better. If my doctor ever talked to me like that. Well, we keep it real because he's like. No, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. You're my client. I mean, I, I'll pay you, you know. <laughs> so you work for me. I don't like the tone of your voice. Insubordination. You're fired. <laughs> Fuck that. You don't tell me shit. You tell me what I want to hear, you sugarcoat the fuck out of it. Because I'm paying you ungodly amounts of money. For really, for 15 minutes? Fuck you! <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam. That'll be on your tombstone. Go to a shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's an AI doctor now to call oh, Dr. Dr. Cody. What? Just go to Dr. Cody. That sounds terrible. <laughs> not... Dr. Cody MD. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think it's a doctor's job to make you feel good by lying to you. I said sugar cup. <laughs> you know what? I, my, so, uh, like, I've gone to a nutritionist before. Yeah. And a doc and a nutritionist is nicer than my doctor. But I like my doctor because he keeps it real. Mm -hmm. And he's very much like, hey, look, do this. And I say, man, but that requires me to figure out some time during my day to do it. And he was just like... <laughs> I didn't Dude. say I didn't say you have an option. I said do this. Yeah. I mean, um, so you just take it to heart. It is hard to work eight hours a day and uh, do everything that my sister tells me that I need to do in order to continue to stay healthy. So it's she's like, first you need to wake up and stretch for about fifteen twenty minutes every day. Yeah, that's a long time to stretch. That is a long time, yeah. especially in the morning where I don't feel like doing shit. No. I just want to lay in bed for <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. And then she's like, you also need about 30 to 45 minutes of cardio on top of the weights that you're already lifting because weights don't actually do much for uh, aerobic type movements. Whoa, time out. I'm, this, yeah. is, this is what you tell me. <laughs> like I told my doctor, I said, you know, that's the special part. Underneath all this nice extra cushion, there is a cut beast in there. And that's why you said, run. Like, like, I'm transitioning from one to the other. I'm trying. and I, know, I mean, sucks, man. It's, it's, you guys have been on this show for three or four years. You've seen my body fluctuate between fluffy and, like, not. So, <laughs> Hey, man. I, I, I said, I, I've been, not, I've been taking this. Welcome to your 30s, man. Like, no, this is what like, it is. I've been like this little COVID break. I, cr I cranked it up yeah. recently, and I was like, it's been nice. But still, cardio is boring. It's just so mind-numbingly boring. Power walk. Hmm? Do one of these. No, I hate like, that. I like. I. I don't. So I've learned yeah. walking. First of all, walking in Texas. Hike. Trying to start this shit in summer was the worst decision. Oh yeah, you should. But this, now that, summer, but this now, summer especially yeah, was bad. This summer sucked. Yeah. But once I got ten thousand steps in during the summertime. Yeah. Which was summertime adjustment. You all, y'all, y'all, y'all got to see me. I'm moving like lightning pace. <laughs> 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 Got tough mutter coming up. Yeah. You just do things to help out, because yeah. like you know, and that's why I said you identify what your struggle point is, and right. then you just tackle it. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Lucky Dog podcast bringing in on the. I grabbed a walking pad and walked 20 minutes a day. I think I need that honestly at this point. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. walking pad. Honestly, the here. internal. But yeah. that that's. Uh, I have a. You know what? Like I'm, a work from home walking thing would be so huge. I have one. Yeah. I watch yeah. football while walking on it. Yeah. That would make a huge difference. I think yeah, I think I'm going to need one too, at one yeah. point, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Christmas gifts for you guys out there. If you want to get the commitment to excellence, anything, yeah. walking pads. Yeah. We can afford it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> or or a bike, a stationary bike. You can get them on Amazon for like 100 bucks. Maybe. Yeah, yeah they're not that expensive. I said biking would be my uh, 2024 addition into mm -hmm. the cardio journey. Just don't ride a bike on a crowded public street like an asshole. I hate when people hate do that. that. This is Austin, so you know. I know. Every day. Oh, I try no, I just ride a scooter road. through them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Equally as bad. God, oh, I haven't, I haven't God. been on a scooter since. I saw someone doing that during rush hour traffic one one day when I was like just getting off. I'm surprised I don't hear day. more stories of someone dying like that. It is just it's the most annoying. Some about scooters, I guess, has this protective barrier of stupid. <laughs> I guess, yeah, because yeah, these motherfuckers like you don't hear about that. Hear no. about bike stuff occasionally, but like with scooter stuff, like it's very much like 
uh motherfuckers just did dumb shit Mm -hmm. hurt themselves really Mm -hmm. but apparently like but i guess maybe as a driver you're like whoa that's a scooter yeah (laughs) you just get irritated and you're like man fuck this guy on the scooter yet on bikes you're like so yeah i did see the most round rock thing today which may remind me that i'm not in austin anymore yeah and it was a dude on a scooter with a (laughs) With, you can't call them wife beaters anymore. A tank top and a Lucy and a do rag. He was not black. <laughs> and I don't know what brand the scooter was. It wasn't lime. <laughs> yeah. See, when you said the most um, th- um, Round Rock thing, yeah. because Round Rock, part of their personality is trying to be anti Austin. Yeah. So, oh, really? Which yeah. It's just people who got moved out of Austin. Who, right. Yeah. So one of the, the one of the first things that I ever saw while trying to go to HEB was a dude holding a QAnon sign, and I was like, "You're in the right place, I guess." <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's like it, a purgatory. Yeah. Because I went rock. to huh? Rock, yeah. Rock. I just went to HEB, and it's just like people just stuck in different decades of Austin. <laughs> there, mm. like I saw, I saw a Fubu jersey. <laughs> 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 I was like, what's a FUBU? <laughs> it was weird. Like, it's a weird fucking place to get used to. But it, uh, it's, cheap. Hey, it's, where, <laughs> it's cheap. I mean, have you gone downtown yet? No, downtown's actually pretty nice. They have a it, downtown in Round Rock? It's downtown Round Rock, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. I didn't know that. They have a cool pizza place. But uh, outside of that, like, if you go into the... Donuts, that's about it. <laughs> but that's not downtown, but... Close uh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the, the the bars around there, you'll see, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, uh, what's the, the the Shining type movie, the dining room where everyone's, like, yeah. from throughout different decades? It's, it looks exactly oh, like that. Good. Yeah, I believe, <laughs> I believe that fully. It's weird, man. It's like time stopped there. It's very, it's like Land of the Lost. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and the intro. Uh, enough bullshitting about fitness and stuff. And, uh... We're going to talk about competitive CTE. (laughs) Actually, that's still okay. (laughs) Don't clip. It's just about getting through. Hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Commitment to Excellence. My name is Marcos. I'll be your host, but I am not alone. Drinking shitty beer right next to me, we got... Sipping. It's TJ. <laughs> it wasn't a good weekend for me. It was TJ's Looks no like good, very bad weekend. You have your children. <laughs> I said it was two out of three bad. Um, found out my first two weren't mine, but my third one is... That's okay. Colorado's still my kid. Mm. They still won. <laughs> Does it matter at this point? I mean. More I'll, victories. I get it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and giving shit from across the street in the Mexicans hat. Oh, it's Tommy. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it has. It has. I've been busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Busy procrastinating and taking too long to do something that shouldn't take that long it's to classic do. Classic Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would be beyond expectations if you act like if you were like, man, I finished. If I yeah. I finished pa- unpacking, yeah, I would have no. been weirded the fuck out. I, yeah, I started packing two days before I moved and forgot the closets. <laughs> so yeah. Well, and here from the Steel City, after a great vacation, we got oh, yeah. Gert. Hi, everybody. <laughs> from well, your motherland. <laughs> I'm not from Pittsburgh. My mother is. My mother's land. You have roots in Pittsburgh, so. Yeah. I'm out. yeah. So, someone was like, is your fist bigger than I'm like, I was like, are you looking at my hand like that, dog? Like, like my hands are I think can. it's just because I'm wearing sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're just high on the other hand. My, his hands are so big. <laughs> I was like, I was like, my hands are tiny. I was like, my hands are huge. Yeah. I was like, they're normally this big. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty beers hitting right. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say, uh, it's it, it's it, it boils. That looks disgusting. No, okay. So it, what it boils down to is yeah. becoming an IPA, like an, any IPA would, mm. where you get to the end and you're like, this tastes like a slightly salty IPA. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say it's good, but yeah. I would drink 12 gallons of this shit compared to that pickle beer and 24 gallons compared to Haterade. Can we just do that? What? Just Never again. Those things. 
No, no, I, I have a friend. The going older, in. the better, actually. So if you get it now, we can use it three years down the road. Sorry. No, time out. Don't be saying that shit and then follow it up with the, that's fair. I want it. No, you got to respect the honesty. I the honesty. It's great honesty. That addresses your first question. I think it's like, is TJ's hands big? Why does everyone look big? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start with a little bit of fun because uh, I don't like this school, but I thought this was the most creative thing that I'm surprised most schools have not tried. What? You probably didn't see it because it was on on Saturday. Shit was funny. <laughs> Very favorable USC bounce. That could have worked out a lot worse for the <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Said, Man, fuck you. <laughs> I respect the play. Do you want to see it again? What I would like to see that again, please. Yeah. But, and it takes a very favorable USC bounce. That could have worked out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bully ball. Yeah. Holy shit. No, I like how they all had their idea. They all looked at that nigga like. I'm the only yeah. one here. Jump him! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked terrified. <laughs> like, he on to no. no. <laughs> Raps, what are you gonna let him do this? <laughs> uh, Fuck USC, by the way. Good God, I hate that school too. Yeah. I mean, they almost lost two weeks in a row. They're looking very suspect, oh, but I Caleb mean, Williams doesn't love football. He's great at it, but he doesn't love it. Mm, you think he's not a Trevor is that Lawrence? Gonna be your theme? No, he's more, he's more is that your thing? Is, going, is that what's going to be your theme on next year if he comes into the league? No, because he can do it without trying. Like He's like you in Dragon Ball Z. He can one-hand that shit. <laughs> not even try. He's that naturally talented and gifted to where it's just a thing. Mm. Like, if, like yeah. Caleb Williams trying is frightening. Well, that won't cut it in the but NFL. But he ain't going to try. Well, he's going to have to try in the NFL. He have to. Yeah, he does. He's got a he's just in the NFL, he'll minimal. have to try. Dude, how many like elite quarterbacks have you seen come out of college and then they're doing okay right now? Are do, they're doing good right well, now. Right, yeah. Elite? Yeah. They were elite in college and they're not even cut. Because we have CJ all Stroud. of... He's I doing said all right. good. He's doing, he's doing all. He's doing. He broke, he broke a fucking record. That, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to get any They're two and they're Dax. Two. He Dax had a bad Sunday. <laughs> he beat Dax's record, so the, they're two and three. I mean, first of all, well, first it's a bad of all, team, good quarterback. <laughs> first of all, still my quarterback. He's why? Fine, unfortunately, right? did you see old boy on ESPN? Who? Oh, who was Whitmer? Oh, fuck. I think it's something Whitmer, but yeah, he's a commentator just flat out couldn't take it anymore. He's like, no, Dak sucks. <laughs> he's fucking terrible. He's always been terrible. I've, like, he couldn't take it anymore. It was great. Nah. If you could find that, that would be fantastic. I, I can't find, I think his name is Whitmore. Dak sucks. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you that can right we now. Can start with me so we can get it out the way, please? Well, I mean... I, we can start with you, or we can start with Gertz. Or do you want to start with your bad start, weekend start, or his no, good I, weekend? We'll, go, we'll end on good. Um, oh, yeah, we can start with Dog and the Cowboys. That's fine. It's not yeah, Dog we'll and the Cowboys the alone. Um, so check it. Look, well, do you want to start with UT? Yeah, the... Let me make this quick. UT Fuck, lost on some dumb week. shit. Yeah, that was a terrible. I was like, uh, like that was a terrible end of fucking... Fuck you, UT. Uh, <laughs> that was an easily winnable game. I do you not left... like... And I, and can I say this real quick? Officially... Official, official. Sure. I fucking hate small quarterbacks. They don't belong on the field. <laughs> They're trash. You've Gabriel is fucking garbage. You've said that for like as long as I've known you. Oh, okay. small. <laughs> I thought it was a new stand. Like, it's not, <laughs> I always hated small quarterbacks. I, I just know his last name. I don't need to know his first name. That little bitch Gabriel from OU. I already hate OU. So mm -hmm. just, just him and his smugness. Yeah bothers me and i hope you do go to the nfl and i hope you get your fucking teeth knocked in you i don't fucking oaky i don't hate. think he's draftable yet oh he ain't gonna know who's gonna draft the bryce young no short quarterback <laughs> getting drafted again um but let's go ahead and rip off this band-aid real quick yeah you know y'all got blown the fuck out so so you expect me to come out <laughs> here bad. first of all first of all it's the Cowboys. The season comes with these ups and downs. Okay. I've been kicked in the face many a times before. This ain't new news. Do I still think they're making playoffs? Yes. I don't they gotta make the playoffs. I, like, that's the whole thing. Like, yeah. Then why the fuck do I care? And that's and what I've hit. I was like, the 49ers well, are going to beat them again. We said, <laughs> you said, and I agreed with you, that it was a must win for them. I, and, and this is where I'm going to get into. Yeah. Uh, you thought you were going to win this? No, it was just a must win, that they had to win this game. Did he game. believe it, though? 
that they had to win this? But they would. Oh, I mean, he picked, he picked I mean, them. I had to pick them. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, but it's my team. Like, I have chance. to. Was he the only one who picked them? In yes. our group, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, 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 well, I, no, you suck with your team. I, I have to stick with my team. I'm not yeah, like you. Yeah, um, oh, I do it this year. Yeah, let's fuck you. <laughs> I don't think he has. No, he hasn't. He's You picked against your team already this year. Only one game. Oh, my God. <laughs> the first. We've had five. You cannot You cannot be like, our quarterback's incredible, Listen, and then pick against him. I didn't him. know he was incredible the first and week. And pick against him 20% of the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> you cannot do that. 20% of the time. One out of five is 20% of the time. Every game but, from, from that point on will be the Texans. I'm picking the Texans. What I will yeah. say is... Uh, I think this. I, I didn't think, know what they were. <laughs> I think this loss helped really drive home some yeah. of my qualms and really articulated where my problems lie. Okay. Um. So it was learning experience, not a good one. Mm-hmm. Um. It goes down to, and this one's painful to like kind of go through. Yes, Dak was not good on the weekend. He was really Very bad. bad. Really bad. Quarterbacks have bad games. It's his worst game in the season. That's yeah. okay. As long as he doesn't perform this bad, again, I'm fine. Because he hasn't performed bad for the rest of the season. Um, <laughs> he's been neutral. But the other problem is, and and this is something, and why I and why I and why before you, the play calling's rough. It's very. It doesn't like when they were down. It didn't feel. It didn't feel. It's a West Coast offense, right? It feels mm-hmm. very mundane almost plain and you can see it and the reason why the juxtaposition is so bright is because you're playing against the 49ers Mm. where they have a very dynamic offense yeah and you're like huh what's this kind of comparison analysis that you're getting where i'm like y'all guys are running the same shit when we're down a fuck ton yeah like all the way into it and then in the worst possible moments can i let me be clear yeah. It's not excuse interceptions. Okay. I'm still giving. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dive into issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, that lack of like motherfucker, lack of motivation yeah. was apparent through the entirety of the game. And I'm like, when you don't have a spicy, it was weird because it's the first time I've been like, ooh, and I can't believe I'm saying this one. You can tell why leaders like Zeke and people are so important yeah on an offense because you're just like these people are down and no one is boosting this energy on this side you know what i mean what surprised me was the defense just like didn't look like they cared like that 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 was like dak throwing a pick i I didn't expect him to throw three i expected him to throw one just because because the niners defense is that good that's not even me talking shit about dak right now no no i I expected one yeah two and three i'm like these are desperation picks right shit um Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still. I'm not happy well, with it. It didn't help. No, but what I'm saying is, like, when you get to that point, I'm like desperation picks. Yeah, I, I can tell this game is a wash. But Micah Parsons only had one tackle yeah. by himself. Like, like I think he had like three total. The thing about it, tackle. which I know you hate, but you got to realize this when you're dealing with the 49ers in that offense. They beat you up on both sides of the ball. Oh, they're physical. They as are shit. physical as fuck. Yeah. Like they have what? Like because I'm familiar with this offense now. Wide receivers block, and they block hard. Uh, they block hard. I don't. So it's like, no, they beat you the fuck up on every side and, of the and, ball. And, yeah. and, well, and, and, and it, this just exacerbated the same issue that the Cardinals, that we had with Cardinals, yeah. were these f- very, very physical, physical teams. teams yes. Beat you up. Yeah. 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 Where it's like, we, and it's very interesting because I was like, I mean, if you caught me on Sunday, that was not a fun loss. I was very pissed. But the more <laughs> I like looked at footage, the more I looked at things, and I'm like, Man, this just like I can't like I, you know I'm oh, just as much as I do this to Dak. Yeah. I don't blame any team, just completely quarterback. I've never been like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm very much like a it's a fucking team effort. Right. The defense still let up quite a bit in the chance where they could have maintained the game, even when it dropped back. I get that. Yeah. Um, the offense, fuck the receivers. They weren't even doing anything. And yes, CD had open a couple of times. Mm-hmm. But motherfucker was even like, uh, what type of like they had an interview with him after the game where he's like, what type of offense are you running? Mm-hmm. Like what type of like like you're like there's no yeah. real strong like, at least with Kellen Moore, which uh, you know people had problems with interceptions. Uh, people had problems with interceptions last season, yeah. but even beforehand, when it came to high scoring offenses, you don't. That's my problem. You don't just go from a high scoring offense to a not high scoring offense. No. Yeah. That's play calling. That's scheme. Yeah. That that's that's offensive well, movement. I will say on that note, um, they don't adjust. They still right. stay no, with that suffocating offense yeah. that, A, is terrible in the red zone, and, B, it's just like 
that doesn't work when you're down two touchdowns. And Mm-mm. and they've run up the score on teams this season significantly worse than the Niners. <laughs> so that offense, our perception of it is skewed. So like, oh yeah, it's garbage time. Though. There's a lot of it. I mean, not I mean garbage time in the case of you you winning. It's mm-hmm. like yeah, they're done, but you, you, you continue <laughs> I mean, to score. But who all they played before? They played the Cardinals, who, yeah, they, who they lost to. But the, then the Jets, the uh, Patriots, and the Giants. Like that all the time. It's just no competition. When you hit competition, they do this. Like I don't feel any different about. The Cowboys now <laughs> I did at the beginning of the season. Like, and I mean, I'm, I'm like, and, they're and, on trajectory the same way they are every year. I kind, I kind of do. My I feel thing, differently about them. My issue, and this is what I want this motherfucker right here to admit finally: <laughs> you need a new quarterback. Plain and simple, you do. It's not going to make a difference. It will. What I no, it's not going to make a difference. Well, it's not going to make a difference. You need an elite quarterback, which I don't think you. No, get. no. Let me, let me, let me, let me I mean, tell you right yeah, now. There's only like three or four it's elite quarterbacks. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. No, this. no, no. You're you're looking for a difference maker quarterback, and that just doesn't exist except for the three or four that are in the league right now. And yes, there are some in draft, but the Cowboys don't lose like that. They don't lose enough to. They don't. Like, that's so, the worst so, so, place so, you could be. So so then uh, so then on the inverse, yeah. I also know that when it comes from top down, unless you get a fucking like this is a you say the problem is quarterback. I say my problems from the fucking top, and I've said this before. Jared Jerry Jones, Jones controlling yeah. the whole shit is always that's going to make gonna, sure that this shit. Right. That's why Marcos jumped off <laughs> the right. ship years ago. It's going to look the same. No, it's going to look the same Every because time, you can't yeah. have dynamicism. You can't have a the, re, the when the Cowboys won, there was contention yeah. between whoever was coaching and with Jerry Jones. Yeah, Mike McCarthy is not that type of coach, and I'm not no. even saying he's a bad coach. He just doesn't adjust. Right, he doesn't, no. like like that was his like like the offense we lost. But when we lost against the Cardinals, we didn't make changes. We lost against the 49ers. I still didn't feel like we made changes. Yeah. And so I'm like, cool, we got, you know, and yes, I'm still putting blame on Doug. I'm like, hey, those are some badass, deci- like, bad decisions you made. But, again, <sighs> to be honest, when I really evaluate quarterbacks, it's close games. It's, yeah. mm-hmm. it's close games. It's competitive games. This was not close and competitive. No. no. This was down and out. So that's why I'm like, desperation throws don't mean shit to me. Versus, hey, we're close, and you throw a fucking interception. I have a problem with that. I have noticed that he he doesn't move much anymore. And Jack. he doesn't move much. Yeah. And when he and Brock was, Purdy was moving. And, and <laughs> whenever and good. whenever Dak moves, <laughs> yeah. he's a tank. Like yeah. he's he switched, he, lo- he lumbers. <laughs> he, he lumbers, but he doesn't get down. He's like, had I mean, way too many. To me, he's had too many different offensive coordinators. That's like, he hasn't look had a at chance Dak to from his rookie year, which I was like, this dude is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every time he gets a new coordinator, he. It, I, he drops. I will say the issue with his mobility is he did hurt his ankle uh, this year. Or? No, 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 it was no, before. It was like, before. And, and ankles but, usually linger. Yeah. yeah, it lingers a little bit. Yeah, that's but, true. That'll fuck with your footwork. But no, I, wasn't it just last year that he was, was like, I was, had, I have emergency ankle. Yeah, it was the last yeah. year. Was, oh yeah, when Cooper Rush came out. Yeah, oh, Cooper that's Rush right. came in five yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my my biggest thing is like. Like yeah, it's so easy to just point the blame at him, but I. It it's, really it, is. It, it, but it's not the case it's because I, I I kid you not, yeah. if he goes on any other team, he's fine. But I think that the problem is, I mean, just keeping it a buck fifty. This just showed me it's a really an organizational issue. Oh, it's. But it's always been an organizational issue, and I'm not get, I'm not absolving fish blame. Rocks yeah. from the head down. I think he's I think he's a significant part of the problem. I don't think he's the only part. I don't. No, no. I, I wouldn't even say. I, I wouldn't I even think say you could like, use a new one still. But I, like, I mean, refre- like like <laughs> refresh that quarterback is fine. But yeah. the problem there is a new QB doesn't change the system. No, no, no. System and it doesn't no. really still like be the like same. it would just be a like the reason why you'd have those shining moments is. And what you highlighted was really good. Yeah. Too many offensive coordinators. Well, fuck, it's a product of a product of a system. Yeah, a product of a failed system towards him. Me. Where I'm like, yeah, it's the same <laughs> shit that happened to yeah. Romo, who was not a terrible quarterback. And no, people, people used to injury plot, prone, but like he's yeah, no, just injury Romo's prone. Okay, right? yeah. But the whole so so the whole delta I'm having is like you can't go from and again it's it's the same it's a, it's just a principle of you can't go from an offense with mostly the same fucking unit if not better offensive weapons that's one of the highest scoring yeah, offensives in the league yeah. for multiple Rookie years season, yeah. for multiple for multiple years to going to i think mean, because then the issue used to be for one season it used to just be like fine clutch time but these motherfuckers are always winning they're always in the lead they're always like Right. Like usually they're just losing a lead, yeah. right? Or usually it's like, oh, they made a dumb decision. There was an interception. This case has just been motherfuckers are down and out, and for some reason they don't have the offensive no, look, scheme can to I, get the fuck can out I of reference this. Reference Matt Canada. <laughs> sure. That great quote from last week when you got the brakes beat off of you by the Houston Texans. Uh, he said, 
This oh, yeah. offense is not designed to, to, to catch up. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not designed to do anything. Yeah, and like that's that's, that's it. wild as fuck that offensive <laughs> coordinator would yeah. do some shit it's like, like that. I would ask but Matt it's Cannon. true. Yeah. At least it was honestly because it's a lot of offenses that aren't designed well, to catch up from well, behind. Like, well, those are poorly designed offenses. Yeah, because the point of the offense offenses. is to score points. Yeah, an offense should be flexible. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, and, I yeah. I will go back to like. All the way, I don't know, what was it three years that when Jason Garrett got fired, I hated the Mike McCarthy hire, uh, yeah. hiring. Oh, every well, no one did. did, yeah, because it wasn't a dynamic hire. It no. wasn't someone who's going to Look. splat. And I'm not saying it was the vanilla. It's, it's the vanilla. vanilla. Oh, very vanilla. And, he, and it hired. feels like his control. The reason, and, and here's the dyna- here's the dilemma. The reason why the defense, with the exception of this game, um, which for some reason I'm with you. I don't know what the fuck happened, which is yeah. my problem. Yeah, um, they got out schemed. They literally, like, but the, which is like Dan Quinn got to wake up. But I believe that they'll fix that shit. Yeah, I think their defense will bounce. Back. I don't know that's if you can, you, I don't know if you can fix that. This is literally what Shanahan does. He was like, their best weapons are on the edge, and I'm going to scheme a way to get uh, get them away. Because did you? Uh, I understand Micah was out of the game. Not, I mean, like out of the game in the the shit that he didn't produce. But I mean, outside of Micah, did you hear uh, Demarcus, oh, Demarcus Lawrence? Lawrence. Uh, Van Der Esch got hurt. <laughs> Van Der Esch broke his neck again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it just stays with him. So, so, so that's what's the point of what's the point that, 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 that role doesn't work for shit. <laughs> what's the point? No, of that shut thing? up, Jordan. No one's here as an Eagles fan. <laughs> they, I, I, they're not even. They're good. They're fine. Jo- no, I'm not Jordan, we got power rankings there later. We'll see where the Eagles stand. But, 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 but my, but it's just better than the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Uh, but my thing is, it was very much like a. This was, I don't say this often. Very much a just overarching. Team loss on every point of the ball. Everyone every, looked bad. Everyone looked bad. Yeah. That's why, and and by proxy, that's why Dak didn't look as the worst he was. Even though I'm like, he's had to me, he's had worse looking games. Oh, like last oh, season. Oh yeah, for sure. This is this is one of his worst games. This is one of the worst games of his but, career. But, but but what I meant was he's had a whole lot of bad. But no, but but, <laughs> but what I meant was. Um, it's hard for me to just isolate that when every side of the ball got right. Hurt. You know what I mean? Where yeah, I'm like, this a, is a, it was a bad day. It was a on top of just bad execution. Just bad execution too. to yeah. the whole extent. It's hard. It was, a, it was a twofer. There's enough blame to go around. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. It was like yeah. everybody. I had blame. Everybody I, failed that day. And, and, yeah. and so <laughs> everyone. And so what I need to see from like, and the, I think the worst part is at the end of the day. Do these other motherfuckers gonna make playoffs? Yes, and that's like, like yeah, I can't, like, even, I didn't I can't think even anything fuss, of it. Like, like, oh, the Cowboys got blown. I was like, both of these teams are making the playoffs regardless. So, and and and, and it's just like, yeah. and I guess the negative, and I guess the negative thing that comes from this is this is probably the worst the defense has looked. Yeah, and, yes, and by a really good team. Like, but I also know that when it comes to, like, and and I, I hate to say this. I think some of this shit is just matchup weirdness. I don't know what happens. We get to the 49ers and our shit just breaks. They, well, they're, they're, just the, they're the new Packers for you. Well, I was about to say, yeah. like, there's Ooh. always been a team. Because been... there's always a team that just, it's like the, it's just weird schemes. It's Green Bay. Of it, it's like, Francisco, like, it's yeah. like Green Bay, but I'm not afraid of Jordan Love. Um, no, Jordan Love's trash. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't think he's trash, but I'm not he afraid good. of him. No, fuck that. He's trash. But it's like, it's like how he these start. I'm done with mediocre games. quarterbacks. No, you, Kirk Cousins, trash. Well, Kirk Cousins. It's, it's, it's like how the Dolphins and the Bills <laughs> just fucking <laughs> like how the Dolphins and Bills implode on each other. It's like yeah. just weird team matchups. It's like yeah. how we, I bet when we go against the Eagles, we'll look like a very competent team. Like I, it's just weird shit. I don't know about. Well, that. you always play mm-hmm. up or play down to your competition too. Well, well, if that was the bad true. Problem. The Forty yeah. Niners would have been more competitive. I don't know. Like I think the the Forty Niners just have their number right now because they just, they're afraid of the Forty Niners. They're in their heads. They're Green Bay. Like, they just in it's their heads. No, yeah. it was 100% in yeah. their heads. And it was like, you can't, like, this is, and when I say it's become the truest form of yin and yang, you cannot go mm. into a Shanahan offense, no matter, I don't you love Shanahan, cool as fuck. but you cannot yeah. go into a Shanahan offense without fight. physicality. Yeah. And without dynamics. I want to see chippiness right. if I'm playing the 49ers. What got me was after the, like, on it after the game like was it today or yesterday or whatever on micah parsons podcast he said <laughs> now it's personal and i was like now, now. They, they knocked you out of the playoffs like two years in a row this right like, like the third time you guys the, yeah met up and they, they the brakes off of they you. Like, own the you this should have been personal, no personal. immediately yeah they, yeah they're not you're irrelevant to them yeah <laughs> like it's personal for you I yeah guess. and like I mean, debo's response was like okay <laughs> Going to the Super Bowl, like they just the off. Niners. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're, Who's going to beat them, dude? They're going to get hurt. That's this is what happens with them oh, every year. They're going to get hurt. NFC Championship. 
Maybe. No, yes. Maybe. That one I'll that one I'll do. This happens to them every no, year. It's a Shanahan offense. I, exactly. I was them. relieved because I even put it in the group chat. I was like, Shanahan's gonna keep his starters in like an idiot. And I was relieved that he took Look, them out. Man, I, I'm not saying this just because I'm home. I'm saying this just because football. Yeah. I'm very curious to see how Houston does their offense because their whole thing is we're taking all right. of that offense, making it safer for the players, but oh, quarterback. You can't Fuck have every other. Player. You can't have it both ways. And actually, no, 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 just the quarterback. <laughs> okay, just the quarterback. It's a Harper. Every, no, you, if you watch the game, Tank Dell got <laughs> fucked up. Like it's <laughs> Josh. Uh, Sam's not, not a healthy team at all. <laughs> just just want to clarify something real quick. Uh, Sam's not blocking anything. We just have a bot that's blocking uh, Jordan's comments. Oh, oh. oh. Boo. <laughs> He's saying the N word, and then the bot's like, "No, uh, it's classic." Can't say Jordan. the N word in the chat. <laughs> He's but also, wild. Jordan, I'm not like, like, look, I'm not gonna. I I hate hyperbole when it comes to the Cowboys. Do I think they're the worst team in the league? Absolutely, fuck no, no, they're not. not at all. They're competent. They're fine. It's just they're gonna do what they do. They which are is a lose quintessential against. football. Team. <laughs> they're, they're, like, but but my problem is actually they something you, you highlighted. Day, you could lose. Mm-hmm. That's what we lack. That's 100 percent what we lack. Mm. There is something, that, and, that, and 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 this and this is the game that helped me realize. I was like, "Where's that? Like, that swagger? Yeah, that step that Cowboys usually have, where they're like, it's arrogant. I don't even feel the energy of arrogance from them, which normally should be that. the case. You need I, that. I, I, you need like you need a little bit of like a wild man on your team that <laughs> That's really? what makes yeah. the Cowboys. We don't Mike, have a problematic black Michael receiver, Irvin. and I need, need my Michael problematic Irvin. black receiver. For sure, you, you we need, need an AB. I thought. I was, I, I, you kind of Well, do. I thought. I think it should be someone on your defense, and I thought it might be Micah Parsons. Not. Nah. No, Mike. He's just not that type of person. And shit. He's no. actually kind of. He's not. I don't want to say. Poor. He's he, kind of a well-reserved nerd, honestly. Like he's, he's kind of too mellow. He's yeah. too chill. chill. Yeah, yeah, he needs like to. That. He likes to say, "Oh, that's my guy." Like with people, and I'm like, "No, you want that person who's fucking like." And I, that's why I think, Mike, people are realizing you now. A, a loose cannon. And someone said in the chat, Diggs. Well, I, no, I guess yeah. he was much more of an influence than I thought he was. Oh, yeah. Both yeah. of them had energy, but he also Dig, talked shit. Diggs would cuss out Dak at practice. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. no, you need those dudes. I man. agree. Yeah. You really do need those you, dudes. You need, like, yeah, I don't know what it is, but you're right. The Niners were not intimidated at all. They were no. Like, oh, it's like, I was like, oh, no. no but that's, all, <laughs> just yeah. Like, yeah. that's the whole thing. You're like, I feel like, but you don't get that from the coach. You don't get that from. Oh, well, who's intimidated by Mike? That's right, what I'm saying. But, but I've realized. But, An appetizer yeah. tray. But it, wh- 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 where, where are you? One of those snacks that they used to play at the beginning of movies. That's so good. They're, like, they're scared as fuck. I'm like, what are you? are scared. <laughs> where I've really learned how much that offensive scheme era is important has actually come from the Chiefs. Where yeah. I've been like. Like, that's what happens when you lose an offensive coordinator who was super dynamic and you have an amazing quarterback. Yeah. What happens when you don't have a Patrick Mahomes and you lose? I don't love Kevin Moore. Don't get it twisted. I didn't, like, I wasn't all that about no. him. But no. he was still enough of, like, a intuitive with his play calling to where you'd be like, hey, I'd rather, like, what I actually feel now that I don't, we don't have, I'm like, man, at least some of those dumb play calls, I could be like, you tried something else. Right. You tried something. Yeah. You did something and also it's never good and i can speak from experience when your head coach is also your offensive coordinator it's too safe it's too much no it's too much for them like you can't really effectively coach and do that shit it's hard shanahan doesn't they don't make fucking super bowls Mm -hmm. like it's too much it's it for a younger coach he's younger and mike mccarthy that motherfucker's knocking on death's door like we we need to like that's too much for him we need to go back that's why you need a diet (laughs) <laughs> yeah. You realize coaches are some of the most unhealthy people on the planet. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm but saying, they have money. Yeah, um, I was about to say, you don't want to live like Mike McCarthy. That's what no. I'm saying. No, you don't. No. He sweats getting up in the morning. Mike McCarthy doesn't want to live like Mike McCarthy. His insides don't. Now, yeah. time out. Yeah. Now, time out. Coaches, <laughs> coaches are like Teflon. These motherfuckers live, last forever. Yeah. yeah that's it. They, they ain't healthy. That's why I said, like, if, if, <laughs> hey, if you, get to, if you get to 45 and you're like, man, I just can't lose nothing. Become a coach. Your life expectancy you really will increase 100%. Into like 60? Dude, yeah, because he's a coach. Oh my God. Can you imagine like Brian Dayball and Mike McCarthy's like medicine cabinet? <laughs> oh, they definitely have those day, the, yeah. the, oh my wing, God. the yeah, yeah, the weekly pill things. They have those. Yeah. yeah. But they also, got to. just to end up, uh, one thing that, like I'm saying, bad all the way. <coughs> yeah. And for the love of God, our run game has not been established at any of these no, games. No. And that's been a problematic thing too. Cause yeah, I have Tony run- Pollard in fantasy. He's not doing me any favor. Um, and it's not even like, and it, it, it's just a lot of different dynamic things. Do I, that's why I say it. when people are like change record, I'm like, that's not going to stop. They're still going to run the same well, plays. 
What it's going to do is give a little bit, like, why I think... I just want Dak to move on. I think he would do better elsewhere. He would. I still... I, I think Dak in Green Bay would be great. I don't think that. No, but, I don't think that either. I think it would work. But I think that when you, like, when you're, uh, uh, I, I think when you're... Co- there just needs to be someone da- who's in Dak that Dak wouldn't room. be giving this many chances anywhere else. No, of course not. That's true. I, I don't think he'd be performing like this anywhere else, though. Mm. I mean, other pull. places are worse. I don't know. Kirk Dak, does what he does. Dak is so <laughs> Kirk has never been on a good team. No, I mean, yeah. Kirk is Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, Kirk does what he does. Let's be real. Middle of the road always. Kirk has no offensive line. That's why they can't. They don't have that's a star a wide receiver. That's a yeah. Yeah. I'm tired that's of terrible. Really. Yeah. I'm tired that's of that bullshit. I feel bad for Kirk. I really do because I think like he's never. He he's only I'm happy been getting exposed. He's they, only been on dysfunctional franchises. Only. Justin Jefferson's also hurt right now. Yeah. So they and they have. No run game. Osborne, they should like, trade him yeah. because he's a free agent next year, right? That's a different. No, Kirk. Oh, they should trade. They should trade him and get I something would. back. Yeah, I definitely would. I think, honest to God, I think it's about time they just they scrap it and rebuild it. And with Justin Jefferson out, Cause, maybe. Yeah, because like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> well, from TJ's bad day to your. Good day. You said you wanted to talk about how uh, you you fell in love with your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, what, what you see that there? comment? They are. Fun, that's, that's a fun fan base. Uh, they are. Yeah, they are. There's, and also, just going to assuming he didn't, and then just tell him anyway. That's true. Yeah, Tommy, it's, Tommy, it's Tommy easier never, that way. Tommy's never really in the loop in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, lot, it's a lot to keep up with. A lot of words. So I went to. You, you I know went, we're only active like three days out of the week. Tell right? me those days. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weekend. On your phone it's the four. weekend. I do shit on the weekend, TJ. Yeah, it's on the week. I garden now. <laughs> oh, welcome to the fucking club. <laughs> oh, He's been yeah. you have a yard for what? 72 hours. Like, oh, I'm a garden now. Gardener now. I got the hat now. <laughs> Bro, don't let me buy a home and be like, like touch a plant and like my eyes go green. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I was like, I understand. So, uh, yeah, I, I went to the Steelers game in Pittsburgh at, we're not calling it Acrisure. We're calling it Heinz Field. I refuse to call no, that's it. that's weird. Yeah, 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 at Heinz Field. I uh, went with my family and my girlfriend and uh, we watched them play the Ravens. And I was pessimistic going in because the Steelers are one in three. And plus it's a weird season for everyone. The, one, the Steelers look like crap this season. They look terrible. And two, the Steelers are one and three when I go to their games. Um, Dude, I, didn't, like I don't know who this bot is, but he just keeps <laughs> calling people out left and right. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't even know Rakeen was black, but he's at the N-word too, and then it's just kind of like our chat is a little bit like a horror movie. It's like, Jordan's gone. Now Rakeen. <laughs> no! Um, but yeah, so we're at the game, and I, I've spoken on the show, and I've talked to you guys about how I feel about the Ravens, where I, I, you respect them. I hate them, but I respect right. them. Whereas you, so with your other teams in your division, it's one yeah. you trash the shit out of them because oh, they deserve it. Yeah, but, he does not like them. But the Ravens, he always gives respect. Yeah, the Browns, like, the Browns I almost feel sorry for. Uh, so I feel sorry for their fans in particular. Damn, it took one season for that to come back. But yeah, just because, like, the Browns, like, they didn't oh. ask for this, or the fans didn't the organization's trash i feel for the fans yeah. the Bengals, i despise uh the, <laughs> no, that's his greatest enemy. because they act like Titans. they act like they've accomplished they've something. done great they went to the super bowl they've done nothing <laughs> they've achieved them. nothing I, I understand that super bowl appearances might world. sound like a lot for a texans fan it sounds it's, like everything it, it, <laughs> <laughs> Every fuck. it means no fuck that girl it means AFC championship jack and shit. Well, when you're the Steelers, sure. Yeah, yeah. You're when you for 20 when years, you, <laughs> you had Bill O'Brien for half of that. Then yeah, no, like, that means they everything. Are, they are paper tigers until they win girls. a Super Bowl. I would and, cry if my team made it to a goddamn <laughs> AFC championship. And if they lost, wouldn't give a flying fuck. See, that's what separates success from failure. Tanking works. Yeah, it does not. <laughs> not it does not. I, I actually saw the Eagles Super Bowl with two Eagles fans, and they did cry. Like they, it's a big deal they went to the kitchen and the started balling out. Or the Cowboys or the Ravens. How about walk like you've been there before? <laughs> we ain't, we ain't, ever, Act like you've been ever. there before. We can't fake it in Houston. So, we, <laughs> but point being, with we the, show up to the buffet with a plastic bag, surrounded by Ravens fans at that game, where I could I could feel a degree of connection that I wasn't expecting because the Ravens and their fans are like. 
we look like shit. And I was like, they do what? like, and yeah. then I look at us. And I'm like, we look like shit too. And I even heard Ravens <laughs> fans saying like, cause I, I feel bad for Lamar cause Lamar, I don't think the stats do him justice. His receivers dropped, I think like seven passes. Yeah, but he has two. They were they, like, in the first quarter. I was worried. I was not like, much of a run game either. Outside no, himself. no. <laughs> yeah. And we kind of did. We, I think we all kind of, expressed like you know greg roman might have been like the best fit for lamar yes. jackson um so that yeah why it. pay him all this money and then get rid of his <laughs> people are yeah, yeah right I, I, when i say when i say this coaching shit that's a big deal we we i think i talked about it more and more where i've been like mike mccarthy has taught me the best lesson of my life <laughs> Jason Garrett, he was clapping. I was in fucking clap land for eight years. I didn't know better. <laughs> but Mike McCarthy, he's had he's had better seasons than Jason Garrett yes, has. Yes, yes. No, but what he's taught me is, damn, really appreciate the coaches you have. Uh, yes. Before, <laughs> uh, I, I like Mike McCarthy more than Jason Garrett, but it's like going from you know an uncooked egg to a cooked egg. <laughs> I like, I mean, it's... It, Get some pepper on that shit, please. <laughs> I, was like, I think you went I want from some a, flavor. <laughs> I think you went from a Ford Fiesta to a Taurus, is basically yeah, what you like, did. Like, <laughs> kind of lateral move a little yeah, bit. I was like, I just went lateral. Yeah. Was like, slight, slight, yeah. yeah. I was like, I like... Slight up to it. But, but, but the whole thing is, like, I mean... I, I really think the best example, to be honest, most recently, is the Chiefs. I think that's a clear cut, is right. the most clear cut example. Yeah, but not to say Andy Reid's a bad coach. It's just they're like, man, they're, that's, that's they're, they're missing Eric Bieniemy. But 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 I, but the Ravens, the yeah. um um, how to put it, uh, <laughs> the Chargers have no. There's nothing you can do there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As long as you have a Staley, then no. Uh. And like so, hearing Ravens fans saying things that like, uh, and I quote. I quote wish we the could, Raven. Yeah, quote the Raven. <laughs> I wish we could draft wide receivers like the Steelers. And I was like, man, I wish we had a competent quarterback <laughs> and uh, 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 an offense and an, and an offense. <laughs> yeah. So it was like a degree of empathy. And I was, it was, it went from being like hating him to respecting him and be like, I kind of like you. Fuck you. But I, <laughs> but I kind of like you. So I feel, I do feel like more of a kinship with the Ravens than I was expecting. No, it's like they should have won that game straight up. It's like us <laughs> Colts fans. Like those motherfuckers will not insult us at right. all. They're yeah. Like, hey, if you we, know, tough loss, guys. But you guys, you'll get it next time. If they lose, it'll be like, yeah, we lost. But man, you guys look good. like what? motherfuckers talk shit. Do right. something. Well, well, but they're so just. That's a, we the used nicest, to most respectful fucking. Fan. Well, we, you well, guys got a good fan base. We used I was to about to say like my friend. That, that, a great. My friend Don't that say you guys. He's a Colts fan, dude. Oh, I think I'm off. sticking with the Colts right <laughs> that's now. A good honestly, team yeah. To for, <laughs> but uh, honestly, on top of that, like yeah. my friend that's that's mentoring me to be a Colts fan. Before right. that, he was like, dude, what's up with the Texans? That they do they just think they're everybody's little brother? Like they talk shit to us all the time, and it's like you're new, and we don't really care about they're you new yet. As hell. They're just trying to pick fights. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it, we have a clear-cut enemy and it's personal, it's history there. Yeah. But they do try to pick fights with the Cowboys. Like, they just that, that's what, that was fights, another thing know? where he was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Cowboys was like, no, we support you guys. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the Ravens were new, it was the same way. Like, yeah. like, Anytime we saw a Ravens fan, like in the early 2000s, we're like, fuck you, fucking Ravens fan, fuck off. But what's a Raven? Yeah, right. But they, fuck, they fucking paid, not Browns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they paid their dues. They, did. they won they, the Super Bowl. They've won two. Two. And they've, and they, it, like, I think, uh, Mike Tomlin and John Harbaugh. I think Mike Tomlin is nine and fifteen, nine and fifteen against John Harbaugh. That's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's like, so, it's a, it's a good rivalry now that feels like actually like pretty respectable, which is yeah, nice. That's your rival. Yes. There are, Those guys are your rival. The, the Patriots were our nemesis the because, Patriots are everybody because we, nemesis they, there. they cost the Steelers. I, I'll, they cost the Steelers at least two Super Bowls. A quick question. Are we talking about oh. the downfall of, of, Coaches. Oh in, God! In his, actually, you, I, actually, to carry off on that, Josh yeah. Man Forever said the Chargers are going to the Super Bowl. Can we point at him and laugh? Ah, no, ah, no, ah, stop. They He's have, a fan, and he—you give—you let him have his hope. So Staley's not going to get you to no. a Super Bowl. You have the roster, but you not have the coach. The, that's the bad part. But you, you have, have everything have the there. Yeah. You guys got a quarterback. <laughs> yes, you have one of the you best. Got a hell of a quarterback. Just, yes, he is. Like the fact that a franchise can do that is incredible. He, I think he's better than Philip Rivers. I do but too. Philip I Rivers, agree. but Philip Rivers is. should. No, uh, Philip Rivers did. lost yep. his powers for every kid he had. Yeah, I, yeah. I will, <laughs> every kid he had was a yard away. He got, he got Marcos's Colts to the playoffs <laughs> when he was like sixty-two years old. <laughs> I, I will. Say I love you, Josh. Man, I just have to. I have to rag I, on you. I will say on that note, Tommy, you literally missed that episode. We, I told you, even in the chat. We did what coach is on the hot, a hot seat. Who is most fucked up right now? Who was who was the main one? 
Uh, we, Staley, I think, was number one. Yeah. Was Peyton well, on that list? Because he should have been. Yes, I, we I talked about Sean Payton. Fucking garbage. Uh, TJ talked about Dayball probably. Because that was Whoa, a week. Dayball shouldn't be on that list. He Whoa. lost it last week. What's but, I mean, now it, you kind of bounce Wait, back. Wait, where's coaches? I didn't talk about Dayball. Um, we did talk about Talk about Frank Reich. Fuck that. Yeah, Frank Reich. Right. Yeah. Bro, I, I run on Frank Reich's Frank block Reich. every day. <laughs> what you really, talking about? Really I do be rolling Reich. up. I be like, no. <laughs> where that nigga at? You know what? Where he at? I agree with you there. <laughs> look, you, like, look, look. Bryce, Bryce Young is probably the little quarterback I like the most. And but, he could like help the little motherfucker out. Like, be, nah, yeah. Frank Reich took uh, Frank, Frank Reich never wanted him. He did not want. He wanted. To How come we don't want like, me, man? Because you're too well, small. You want, <laughs> you fuck, go play JV. Wait, you belong. Hey, it's, it's a, a high school around the corner. I'm sorry, I cannot co-sign uh, the Panthers. My pa- the Panthers will always be my least favorite team. Why? Because they got rid of a black coach who was winning yeah. them games. Tommy, you're not for the culture. But it's a blessing that, in disguise because right. he's winning in uh, San Francisco. He's doing well. No, he's not. He'll be a head coach yeah. next year. Uh-huh. <laughs> So he'll be a head coach next. Year. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we also, I mean, no, that's what San Francisco we, does. Yeah. We also, <laughs> yeah. On the note of there being a com- Commanders fan in the chat, we also talked oh, about Ron oh. Rivera being a little lost. Whoa, time because, out. Who the fuck is a Commanders? Yeah, I've never man. seen a Commanders fan before. Uh, well, welcome he's in the chat. Go welcome. man, go man. Well, actually, don't I, talk I feel too much shit. No, no, no. Time out. I don't feel like I, I don't feel like Cowboys fans and Commanders fans do that. But I don't think anyone. Does. I think everyone just kind of looks at the Commanders like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's not. Yeah, it's no beef at all. It's, it's like. I'm you, sorry. I feel like they're close, but I do they're think they so need, close. They need close to what? To being like relevant and good. They, whoa, the whoa. commanders, bro. They have so whoa. many top five picks. They're no, they close. Do. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 they, need, no. they need a coaching change. I say close to like being like, oh, okay, maybe they could be a good team. Not like playoffs close. I think they're close. They they got to the playoffs recently. Oh, it was a weird season last year. <laughs> they played Tom Brady closer than uh, the Chiefs did. Yeah, let's not go crazy. <laughs> that I'm just stating things that happened. I, I realize, but like those are fluke. a lot of those. Are also, flukes. they do have. Uh, he doesn't know who he is. Well, I, I think he say, needs to go. Yeah. In, I to sucks, them, I like they are rivals with the Cowboys because they have Super yes. Bowls. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. the whole Cowboys. In the Everyone yeah, in your I division know. has Super Bowls, which yeah. is nice. I know. The whole division does. I mean, sometimes I have to blow the dust off the video to watch when we actually had one, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. Yeah. I mean, but I'll take I, it. The the commanders have one longer than you. They, they, yeah. it's really, you got to have like well, comparing myself to, to the commanders. Like, were you alive when the Cowboys won their last Super Bowl? Yeah, ninety five, ninety six. Yes, you were. Yeah. How old? Four. Uh, born. Born. <laughs> Not even a year old. <laughs> you know, like that was around the time I was born. Okay. Deion Sanders is scoring a touchdown, and it's like, here you go, your star against the Steelers. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I like him in Colorado. I like Deion, but fuck him. <laughs> Just for that Super Bowl. Just for that. One hundred percent, the Cowboys wouldn't have got that fifth Super Bowl without Sanders. Uh, oh, yeah. One hundred percent. God damn it. No. We should give him the trophy. For yeah. <laughs> Oh, God damn he should come Dion. coach us. I miss he's not no, he, no. Why? Why would yeah, he do I would that? not do that? To because myself. I need someone who's not gonna let you. You might get talk Shador. Your door. That'd be good. If we got Shador, you would see a new I nigga. I'd come in here with. I'd come in here. I would clap for you. I'd literally be like, "Where TJ get all these chains? When he when he start wearing gold all the time? <laughs> why is he Why is he wearing stunner shades? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, what? He has a rotating cow- he has a rotating cowboy hats. <laughs> what, when He's I got a cord roll for some reason. <laughs> when I was a, <laughs> <laughs> is that a white beater? <laughs> like, is that a tank top? This Please. is not the TJ I know. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in uh This is not the TJ I know. <laughs> oh, man. When I was in Pittsburgh, Sorry. my brother uh he he brought up something and I want to know if this is true or not. I don't know, but it sounds like it could be. Was Deion Sanders the first one to coin the phrase business decision? Like that was a business decision decision like not making that tackle there that'd be amazing that sounds like a Deion Sanders quote like so I was like that's a good question I don't know it might have been him that sounds like somebody asked him like not tackling that guy was that a business decision and he was like sure or like (laughs) or like why didn't you make that tackle man that was a business decision because that sounds like something sounds like some shit he would would say say, I don't know if that's like that up yeah because that that sounds like a Deion it it is right we didn't quote at this point we didn't know and neither my brother was like but I think it could be and I was like that sounds (laughs) accurate it my, sounds on brand. My brother's like he's he's much more knowledgeable about the NFL than I am. So I was like, uh, he, maybe hmm, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, that being said, I loved Pittsburgh when I was there. It was an awesome city. Pittsburgh's fun, and um, now that they're direct flights from Austin to Pittsburgh, like it's easier to get there now. Every weekend. 
Not every weekend. You're you moving back. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too <laughs> cold. Second home. <laughs> and then um, Baltimore is a fun city, too. So I feel like either populace would be pretty cool to hang out with. I've only been to Baltimore once. and uh, I don't want to go to Baltimore. Now, time out. <laughs> I saw yeah, the no, wire. Why Austin's would I wonderful to to right now. Don't leave home. The weather's nice again. <laughs> yeah, true. Here? Yes. Well, uh, Fall and spring in Austin. It's only awesome. going to be for two weeks. So I just know. enjoy now, it. But you, you know what happened? We were hanging out on the weekend. I said, no, time out. What's this? I got my joy back. I forgot where I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, because the fucking the heat and the pressure, that shit was like pressure cooking you. Yeah. And finally you can breathe again, and it's just like, oh, wow. I can yeah. Trees. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Sammy's yeah. stairs didn't feel so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my begonias aren't struggling anymore. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there with the spritz. Yeah. Yep. Oh, um, and then your... Your coach thing that did, did anyone say Bill Belichick should be fired immediately? Did we bring him? We, I don't think we, we talk about Bill Belichick, well, we but he now. is. Uh, he's the biggest fucking fraud maybe in NFL history. What team is he on? The, the Patriots. Belichick. Oh right, right. right yeah, you forgot. Right, That's not right. surprise. Sorry, I, you said he's not good at coaching. Yeah, and never has been. He's got Bill O'Brien, right? Yeah, yeah. Bill yeah. O'Brien's always been yeah, fucking yeah. garbage, and yeah. he should not step foot. He should coach the XFL, and he should only be an offensive coordinator, and they should only pay him half the salary. No, listen, fuck that shit. Like, like I was saying, <laughs> coaching matters. If you have a good player, mm -hmm. that player can cover up everything. Do the oh, Patriots? I, have a, I have a theory. The Patriots way is not a thing. It's the biggest fluke it's hoax the that has ever existed. It's the in Tom history. Brady way. It was the Tom Brady yeah. way. Bill Belichick can coach his way out of a fucking paper bag. He is terrible at coaching. Great off, great defensive coordinator. Right. Give yeah. him that. I can give him that all day. The motherfucker is not a good coach. Never has been a good coach. Tom Brady won you Super Bowls, and you got it in your head that, oh, we got the formula. I can be a tyrant. I can tell people what to do, when yeah. to do it, how to do it, and I can be stoic the entire time. No. You did that because Brady was there. Now you have fucking Mac Jones. How's that going for you? Yeah. You had Cam Newton. How'd that go for you? You suck at coaching. Well, Cam Newton was kind of— He doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. I know he probably will. Oh, Bill Belichick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying, I said Cam Newton, and you were like, doesn't it? And I was like, whoa, I never said he deserved to be yeah. there. <laughs> no, Cam definitely. Yeah. Cam broke some records, but no, he, he doesn't. He was, <laughs> he was, uh, he's one of those ones, if he had just had a couple more good years, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Because he broke so many records, yeah. but then he just did. He fell and off then, a cliff. But then also, yeah. I, you think about his, the teams he was on. I don't think he was set up for success ever. Cam would have been better off retiring a lot sooner. Is he officially retired yet? I don't think he is. He has a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, he's retired. That means nothing. Matt Micah Ryan has ain't a podcast. Micah has a podcast. Yeah. Matt Ryan is still out there. He lost his fire when he got that podcast. <laughs> the only reason Matt Ryan is not retired yet is because he thinks he, oh, no. he yeah, they might get into the Hall of Fame. And he's he, not at all. He's holding out hope. Making it to the Hall of Fame. What? The 28 to 3 thing? Like, <laughs> he won an MVP. Jesus fuck. And so did Cam. Yeah, yeah. MVPs don't mean you make it to the Hall. No, they, I'm not saying he's right. I I'm saying bowls, man. no one I wants to rings. be in the Hall of Fame class with Tom Brady. No one wants that. So you do not want to retire no. the year Tom Brady retires. I think Frank JJ. Gore did. Frank Gore did. Oh, well. Frank Gore did. I mean, it's he's, a, be, he's a longevity Hall of Fame. It's going to be the Tom Brady uh, Hall of Fame. And I, I don't know if J.J. will fall. They retire at the same time, or the same year. But they I don't did. know if they'll fall into the same no, they'll be in the same. Lane. They'll be in the same class. Yeah. And yeah, he's both first, first round. So yeah, yeah so like it's just gonna balance. be those two, and I don't know who else. <laughs> no one's Frank gonna give Gore. a flying fuck. Frank Gore does deserve to be <laughs> half a tenner. I don't know if he'll be a first round. He'll, I don't think uh, he'll be first uh, round. first ballot, but he'll be second. Maybe he'll be like second. nigga who like, lasted the longest. That's yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I think he back, deserves that's, it. That's oh yeah, impressive. I don't want to time him a little. Frank Gore. He almost made it to play with his son because his son's like a senior in college the year he graduate. I mean the year he retired. I don't know why he didn't just stay like. He was still good enough to do yeah. it. I would have just stayed. He's retired. better than some that's, running backs out there right subject. now. Yeah. yeah. Who, who are players that retired just a sec too early? I don't think there's like a troll. <laughs> yeah, Andrew he had Luck, to. Barry who Sanders, also had yeah. to. Yeah, Andrew Luck. Yeah, he had to. I say Fitzpatrick did. I did too. Fitzpatrick was broken his last season. Mm -mm, the year, no, the year that he, no, the last season he was in. Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Uh, when he was on the Dolphins, they took him out. It was still one of the most yeah. painful losses. I, a, yeah. yeah. They, they tanked. 100%. Yeah, they purposely uh, took him out. So, someone said Sterling Sharp. Well, Sterling Sharp and Bo Jackson, like, they had to. They yeah. had to. They were they like. physically could not. Yeah. Yeah. They were going to die if they stayed out there. I think Marshawn Lynch, he could have played a little, little long, but I don't think he had anything left. 
Yeah. But I also he was playing with for Marsh- funsies. I think yeah. also Marshawn and his personality says, I don't give a fuck. Right. Patrick Willis had a few more. Years. But if I don't usually say this, if if someone could get into a Hall of Fame on personality alone, I would love Marshawn. <laughs> I think Marshawn's gonna get in. Yeah. I think he, yeah, I think Marshawn. No, I oh, I'm just like on personality alone. Luke Keekly, oh, yeah, yeah. He had to stop too. But yeah, no, he's also probably a Hall of Famer too. Marshawn yeah, so. Marshawn Lynch makes me want to see bottoms. And I've not heard bottoms. anything good about that movie. Really? Oh, I heard it's funny. That shit was funny as hell to me. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard good things. Just from you and Andrew, but <laughs> you're the only two people I know who've seen it. Yeah, I thought it was funny as hell. I was entertained. <laughs> Percy Harvey. Yeah, Percy Harvey was okay. Well, uh, Two quick stories. Next one, uh, Jonathan Taylor's finally coming back, signed a three-year contract. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might have done that just to trade him because they don't, they do not need him. Jack I mean, uh, forty-two million dollars says that, like, hey, we we want you back. That's they why. See, That's Jonathan Taylor was playing chess. He was like, one day he'll smoke some crack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we know he'll be all right one of these days. Yeah, if it was an owner that's easy to blackmail, it's it Jim Irsay. He like mm-hmm. Jonathan Taylor said, look, we could do this the easy way or the hard way or the hard way. I got this Manila folder here. <laughs> <laughs> so with photos in it. How do you think? Well, how does forty-two million dollars? <laughs> hey, what's your favorite? What's your favorite weather? I think it's snow. <laughs> it's like I mean, put it on the table. Well, first of all, everyone knows Ursay loves that snow, you know, and other prescription drugs. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, I don't think but, snow is prescription. Oh no, he loves it all. <laughs> His favorite drug is what you got. Yeah, Ursay's <laughs> like, a fucking mess, and I he hate has that spin shit, wheel. man. He's, he's I hate the fact that people call out like weird owners and shit, and Texans because they did have some real fucked up years. The owners, he's a man child. His wife now runs shit, and she mm-hmm. you see how things have been going pretty mm-hmm. well. Like he's a buffoon, but he ain't. And you know he's not really so weird. Ursay's weird as fuck. He's trying to reenact South Park episodes with whales. <laughs> he loves his whale skirts. You let the man love his whale. No, because he right. gets them killed. He does get them killed. Right. He's you like telling... Elmira from Tiny Toons. <laughs> but he loves I will them. hug him and squeeze him. Yeah. Are you? T- Ursay's fucked up, man. Are you telling me Ursay's suitcase looks like this? Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he runs Ursay's... into the meetings like. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Jim, I, I have to take this call. Why are you taking your briefcase? I have to take this call. I got some, <laughs> I've got some contracts in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the table's contracts in here. <laughs> <laughs> that day Robert Kraft like, did the whole acceptance when they won the Super Bowl. He was hanging out with Ursa. Mm. Like, they are fucked up. Like, if Hunter S. Thompson was a uh, owner, it's Ursa. Oh, yeah. Th- like, that's literally that's from a Period Love. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking spirit animal, man. That list going to change up. And because that's, <laughs> they luck into success, people forget he's so fucked up. And it just baffles. Do you, do you get so excited much. seeing that list and how much wrong we were? We one. I mean, all it tells me is there's a lot of really bad teams. Unfortunately, my team doesn't change much actually because there's a real lot of bad teams on there. What list is this? Is this our, the tier? Uh, this is the tier league. Oh, but we have one. In, yeah. But we have one uh, more story, and oh, this okay. one isn't going to be very long okay. either. But uh, I know we said we were done talking with Taylor Swift. But there's no, one. We're not. No, we're not. There's only. We're never done with it, right? Huh? This isn't. This is actually her doing some good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was actually really surprised about this because. Uh, I don't, did you see their game this weekend? No. Well, why? I saw she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I well, saw tra- the clip in question. <laughs> so uh, Travis Kelsey's. an injury and went to the locker room? <laughs> well, his ankle got hurt sure for a little did. bit. Sure it did. Well. <laughs> Now the Swifty army, the Swifty Twitter army is saying that, hey, we need to get rid of turf. Mm-hmm. Just to keep Travis Kelsey safe. Whatever it takes. Gotta, Whatever it takes. Gotta keep it, Mr. Swift safe. But <laughs> I just, I, I think, <laughs> <laughs> this is a good thing. This is, this is a good thing. It's like the Swifties, it's like growing pains. You ever, and I've, I've been this person before. Yeah. Yeah. You have that friend that just recently got into something you've been into for a long time, and they're almost obnoxious because they, right. they don't know what they're fucking talking about, but they stick with it, and then they're like, oh, cool, like I can have good conversations with them about this thing I'm passionate about. Mm-hmm. That's going to happen with some of these Taylor Swift fans. Yeah. Some of them are going to stick around. Some of them are just like, oh yeah, they are just did it because of Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah. But who knows? Who did the Chiefs play next? Fuck, fine. Oh, they play the Bears. Never mind. Not <laughs> yeah, 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 the game true. after that, uh, whoever whoa, they play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Justin Fields Wait. might light it up again. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiefs play the Bears? Yes. Again? 
Did they already play this season? Yeah. The Chiefs played the Bears already? Yeah. Oh. I don't it was the opener, wasn't it? No, they... No, that was the Lions. The Chiefs played the Bears already, right? Yeah. Oh, that was the Lions. Yeah. No, no, they played the Bears. The Chiefs... I know they played that that whole... Uh, uh, Rakeen thing. is correct. No, they, saw, they, the played played... De- they played Denver. Denver, well, yeah. Well, I'm hoping that maybe that's a, that's, one of these Swifties, or at least a few of these Swifties, maybe when the Chiefs play a good opponent eventually, they'll be like, say they play the they Eagles. They started this relationship down a fucking shit show, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, like, maybe they played the Eagles one time. One of these Swifties is like, oh, who's this guy in green who's really good at throwing the ball? And it's Jalen Hurts. Oh, you know, I j- mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. There might be... Sorry, Joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be, even if it's just like 2% of them. He's a know? winner, though. Yeah. <laughs> By <See>? cheating. <laughs> it's like, by an unstoppable play. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal. It's still legal. Well, uh, now we come. Oh, God. <laughs> we come to what we do every five weeks. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we, t- in the seat. we look at our t- tier list. And we look at our uh, tier list. What was, so what? bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost it's like looking at an old yearbook. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Why did I think that? <laughs> well, this uh, is, it, <laughs> so this is what we thought how it would play out. Right. And just to give you all a little bit of heads up how it works, it's just how they're playing right now. Yes. yes. It doesn't it's current. Yes. Don't it's the all eye right. test for right now. Okay. Can I just disclaim before we even get into this? Yeah. My team's higher than what they were before. Well yeah, they were literally at the bottom. <laughs> And no, I'm just looking for yeah. up. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. just looking for not we, lower. Yeah, we had them like. In there the are some three. adjustments that will be made. All this listed was recently. I don't like the way I you think said I'm adjustments. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I think I'll be okay. All right. All right. All right. So before we start, let's present what we made last time. Oh, let me get the glass. Okay. <laughs> so we got here. Uh, all right. Okay. Get look at it. All right. It could oh, be. Oh God! I don't know. Okay. It yeah, could be, there was some, some bad decisions it, there. It could be way worse. It it's actually be, not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not as bad. No, there's some teams. A few there. moves. There, oh, absolutely. There are, definitely there are some teams we were way few, wrong. Yeah. I will challenge us to try and keep the number of teams in each category the same. Even. We can't do that because we already know so S tier is going to stay S-tier about the same amount of teams. No, no, said, no, 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 no. I meant I meant kept them the same as they are now. Okay. Just making adjustments. Okay. But we're okay. keeping the okay. amount. Okay. Yeah, the even keep okay. it even. Yeah. Keep it even. Okay. There's going to be right. more in B, uh, one less in A, and, and then less in S. And also remember, at this point, half the league is two and three. The other half is three and two. So yeah. Yeah. It's pretty well. Minus, of course, the Panthers. Actually, you know? I think S, I think S tier is going to change a little bit. S tier is going to change a little bit. But like for the most part, a big chunk is half. You know. Well, I think S tier is not too far. Let's start with a lot of mediocrity this season. Let's start with the quintessential argument: Who is the worst team? Period. Right. Oh, that's Panthers. Panthers. Easy. Yeah. By record. I don't know. The Patriots are really bad. I think the Patriots, Patriots are, are really the bad. They've won a the game Patriots though, right? No. Like, yeah, they have. They're they won. They won one. They're Ooh. one and four. They're one and four. Who they win? I don't know. I it was the Jets? Je- was it the Jets? Yeah, yeah they beat the Jets. Right. I still think that if the so the they're Giants. not much better. Giants it's really just that the no, Panthers man. are scrappy. I don't know. If, no, they're not that scrappy. I think N- Panthers scrappy are. enough to beat the Patriots. I don't the, think they could. I think when you I think that would be one of the worst games <laughs> in NFL history if that would play out. I think that. when you go into the Patriots locker room, everyone's depressed. Let me. I you agree. Out. No, time out. Let me help <laughs> they out. have no soul. Hey. <laughs> Racism. Put the Panthers at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, yeah. Look, and put the Patriots right behind them. Uh, I don't think there's any argument. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Who else is worse? The Giants. The Giants. No, are really, they outside, the Giants are really bad. Put the Giants are bad. Put the Giants are really bad. They to be right. There. This uh, is actually quite easy. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the Bears also have to move. No, 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 no. I think I think Broncos before the Bears. I'm just saying they both have to move. Yeah. No, no, no. Because I mean the Bears beat the Broncos. Oh, we have no. to move quite a few teams up. So. so yeah, no Broncos deserve to be right behind the Bears. Get the Cardinals out of there. They're scrappy. <laughs> they are scrappy. They've only won one game. But they're scrappy. Man. I don't care. Uh, I, don't I will care. say everybody. I, I, no, I, still, I still think the Cardinals are deep. Yeah, no, they're still. They still Just for the sake of argument, I think all four of these teams are going to move up. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yep. Yep. Definitely the Colts. But we do need another team to go down. Yeah. Do. Titans. I, I think the Cardinals should go down. Titans. Mm. Uh, the Titans. I think C is right on. I, hold Titans. up, let me let me let me ask you this. Why question. are the Titans? No, still hold up. C? Let me let me ask They've you. Got two wins. Stop it. Uh, let God me ask you this question. Good night, Badgie. <laughs> they look terrible. What are the Saints? 
Oh, what is that? That's quintessential C. No, yeah, no. Well, <laughs> tell me, what is their team? What are they doing? Yeah. Who knows what's going on over no there? No one knows. It's, it's, it's literally a they're, roulette wheel. It, it is 100% a roulette wheel. They're oh, befuddling as shit, <laughs> yeah. m- which means mid to me. <laughs> like, they don't seem entertaining to watch. No, so no one knows what's them. happening over there. No one watches the same game. <laughs> no. I, I saw that the score against the Pagers like 34 to 0. What the fuck? Yeah, it's yeah. like, someone tell me who's been watching Saints games. Well, I watched not, that game, the 34 to 0 game. I'm going to watch one Sunday when they played Texans, but like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they are. I know Derek Carr's trash. I, would, I don't know. I, I, Other than I, I, that, can, I have no idea. So I can make a – oh, oh, timeout. And this is just straight up. Bengals are in D. Oh, yeah. They no. go all the way from A to D. No. Hell, yeah, they do. No. They're at least – They're bottom C. They're at least C. They're bottom C. But no, I think they're why are they bottom D. C? What have they done? Because they're on the upswing. Right now, They they last game they played, they look like – and Did they win? Yes, they won. They, they beat won against who? The Cardinals. Oh, oh come on, nigga. Uh, <laughs> like, the Cardinals beat the shit out of y'all. No, no. It We're wasn't the shit that. out of us. <laughs> yeah, they beat you by two scores. Two scores. That's, that's not, not the shit. That's, mm, no, that's pretty that's definitive. Sh- <laughs> that was a bop. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's beating the Cowboys by a fart, not a yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> San Francisco well, was like, they beat the brakes, the whole money, think, everything, I, I and think, the shit out of Oh, us. the Vikings, dude. They got it. Oh, the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings. Vikings. I'm just looking at records right now. The Vikings got Vikings to go way down. Not good. Um, they look. I mean, you got to go by eye test too, and they look bad. They look really bad. Um, you know what's funny is uh, uh, after week four, they had the number one receiver and most passing yards, but no wins. Well, always, <laughs> I mean, they had the best receiver in the game. Yeah. I would, I would probably move the Jets to the top whoa, whoa, whoa. of D. Washi- look, I move the Jets to the bottom I'm sorry. of C. No, if Chicago is at the bottom, then Washington needs to be at the bottom right with them because they lost. The no, Washington, Washington did a bad. great job against the Eagles. Washington has two wins. But you lost against the Bears. You need to understand that right now there's a lot of inconsistency. No, yeah. there's it's only weird. two teams that are. Also, place. they lost yeah. against the Bears. Kind. It was close. What do you mean, kinda? It's no kinda. <laughs> they lost. They let just. They let fucking Justin Fields hang f- damn near four hundred yards on. That's garbage, man. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but no, they, they they, no, okay. Wow. First of all, there okay. is a limit to the amount of teams we can have in D. Is it so? Yes. We make the no, rules. I, no, 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 yeah, uh, C B should be B should be the one that's the biggest. One that's, more deserves to be in nope. D. What, let me you don't see, what think we got? Washington deserves to be No, that's to be bottom D. D. Can we uh, see? I mean bottom yeah. I mean bottom C. Excuse me. Okay. Uh we have to be a little I, more conscientious. Tennessee, Tennessee deserves. Don't we have D. one more spot left in D or is D full? We I th- I think we can move one more team. Yeah. I think D, no, because A is missing one. We move somebody all the way from the uh, Bengals. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm not saying there's a bunch of AT, but we it have to do it in comparison. Lot. We do. Okay. It's in okay, comparison. Okay, so we're good then. That's why I'm saying. Move to C. Let's do C. I, I can argue C. If you want to make some flips, we can. But realistically, all these teams ah, that are in C tier right now have two ish wins. We can talk about the order within the tiers later. Let's yes. just get them in the right tier first. Okay. Um, so, all right. And so from Washington C, sure. Oh, man. I feel like the Raiders kind of moved to like. Here, yeah, Why? I think they stay in C. I think that's right. No, let's talk they about the tiers. We'll do Bay? organization in a bit. Yeah, actually, uh, Green Bay also needs to move down to C. They do. Yeah, Green yep. Bay's not good. Who goes up? The Rams go up. The actually. Rams go. The up. Rams are better. Hell, yes. honestly, Tampa should go up. Tampa definitely goes up. Yeah, the they, Falcons do not go up. Marcos, share the screen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How do the Falcons not go up? The Falcons say C, nigga. Like, stop it. <laughs> I see. They're three I and see. two. They're three and two. They are three. But, but no, you watch those games. <laughs> no, that well, whatever yeah. works. <laughs> yeah, they got no, the same record as the, the whatever works team. Yeah, like, they, they got the same record as the Cowboys and the Steelers. They do. Ah, oh, fucking They're I hate it. They got a hell of a defense. And the Bills, like they have a really good defense. They should be in B. They should be where they are. I don't know about that, Chief. Even if they want to be. In the bottom of fine, the... fine. Jets go to C, uh, C though. Yes, yes. They do. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I mean, I knocked them down. Actually, I think Seahawks also come down. Really? They're they look pretty good to me. They I think about, I well, think I we were kind of right on look. with them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think they look the definition of okay. I can give them okay. Jacks, okay and pretty good are almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time out. Let's work. Uh, this is gonna be weird. The Steelers are gonna come down middle. and B. Let's work because t- I think down. B's gonna be like let's oh. work. We're top down and we'll figure out B. We'll do A. Um, Chiefs go to A. Yes, agreed. Yeah. 49ers go up. Yep. Yeah, 49ers and Swap Eagles are Cowboys out. go down. Yeah. I wouldn't say there, but I don't know. They, but they, they should be in B. Uh, yeah. I, Steel, don't, I think Steelers are going to come down, too. I think the Steelers should be in C. No, because I don't know who goes to A now. 
Uh, a? Detroit. The Lions. The, Detroit. The Bills. The Lions go to yeah. A. The Jags go down. The Jags are not they A. They're the not Jags good. are not A. The Jags are in B. Jags and then if the Jags are not A, bad. Cowboys are bottom A. Lions should be an A for sure. Yeah, the Lions and A. A. And the Bills too. Bills should be up there. Uh, that looks good to me. That looks pretty. Nope, they get five teams in there. That looks good to me. Oh, so one more can go up? Two more can. Uh, oh, why? It's actually two more. I don't, I don't know of any. I don't. I don't see any of these other teams. No, but up. what was a? A makes a is goes to playoffs. Deep that, playoffs. No, no, no. B is go to playoffs. Yeah. A is a is deep playoffs. A is, a is deep. You win in playoff games. Yeah. yeah. A is division. Um, yep. Like you can see them playing for the uh, well. The cha- yeah. The the, the Bucks then are currently I mean, leading the division, good. right? Yeah. What's the Bucks record? Are they didn't the fa- didn't the f- insane? No, they're like. Didn't the the Falcons beat the the Bucks? I feel like the ba- the Bucks are three and one right three now. Three and one, yeah. Uh, I don't know who beat them. Who beat? It the was Bucks? a good team that beat them though. Oh, it was the Eagles. Yeah. So like, you no know, okay. Bucks have been playing. That, that's like the team that's been surprising me the most, honestly. Uh, well, I, honestly, in general, the NFC South is they're well. Than I actually, is the Falcons and the Bucks are pretty good. Yeah, the Falcons and the Bucks are both better. I wouldn't say the Falcons. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say either of them are a yet. I, Falc- I mean, I'm a Buc- I'm a Bucks person. Yeah, so, like, I don't I, think you're Falc- I don't think either one are a. But they're high. If, I mean, you should. Uh, all right, would, by default, you should. I'm just asking. The Bucks. If yeah, if like if we need more teams in a, yeah, you the, kind of have no choice. I That's would the say only team I could see them there. I would say the, either say the Bucks or, or Jags. No, no, not the Jags. No, Jags. Not the no. Jags. Okay. I would There's say, not a team that I even want to have that articulation with until. <laughs> Well, I would if if we move the Bucks to A, then I would move the Steelers back up to B because they just beat the Ravens. Uh, That's the thing. Like all these teams, though, I'm fine with that. Actually, yeah. I think this is the way to like. Now we just rearrange the. the I'll sh- take one out of A. I say the Jets should be knocked down to D. D. Mm-mm. Really? They kept the they kept it close with the Chiefs. I mean, that's not hard. I, I mean, to be honest, to be honest, <laughs> I am ba- uh, the only reason I'm even keeping the Chiefs in A. Why are you it's guys because they've like, won. The Chiefs have not looked good, though. They've not looked good. I'm only keeping them in A because they've won. They're 4-1. and one, which yeah. They're 4-1. Cool, That's literally... Like, yeah. Like, like, they've kept... They, they've not I looked mean, good. I mean, the Jets are a fucking clown just, show. But do you think there's a team in the AFC that's definitively better than Chiefs right now? No. I don't think there is. No. It's why I'm struggling with the AFC. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. they, they all look kind of not great. But I would pick the Chiefs against any other team in the AFC. If I think the Bills could get them. Maybe, but I would still pick the Chiefs. <laughs> uh, the I, Chiefs literally already played the Bills, didn't they? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And I will say we do actually, Josh Mann's right, technically S is Super Bowl, so we can't have the 49ers and the Eagles. The Eagles can drop. I'd bump up one of the AFC Miami. teams. Miami. And i put Miami up there. Yeah, put Miami. yeah Miami might be the best. Miami but, the, look, but this is, they lost the I understand that right how now. it's supposed to work. Yeah. yeah, These are the two undefeated teams, at least. So they, they should true. stay at the top. They but should. I will, I, okay, if I had to, if I'm being honest. If we need an AFC team in there. I, yeah. I, I'm not saying, this is this is me being as objective. Like, yes, I, 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 I even have the Eagles in S tier. When we talk about genuinely speaking, their wins have been. They're ugly. They're ugly ass wins. Hell, yeah. yeah. Dolphins have been dominant wins with the exception of one. Where they got dominated. <laughs> they got so that's dominated. that's a big that's yeah. a big but, thing. But, but when I say like like who I envision in the Super Bowl, I would put the Dolphins and I'd put I'm fine with the Eagles being top. A, you can be undefeated and have ugly ass wins. I just don't want to Because pun- it's not just record. I just yeah. don't want to punish the Eagles for winning. But it, they could be but but I don't but I wanna but there can only Remember when we initially did it? It is right. Initially, Ra- yeah. Rakeem, but- the way that that I explain why there's two NFC teams at the top. This is like college rankings where you have Georgia one and Alabama two. That's how I would see it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's it. I get the undefeated argument. I'm not taking that away. Right. I still think they're an amazing team. What I'm articulating is. No, I hear you. Like, like when I look at undefeated 49ers. And undefeated Eagles, there's a clear gap. I, yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. I guess are we still uh, adhering to the rule that S can only be one AFC team and one NFC? No, team? no, no. Okay. I'm not. Then I'm I not. think I think if we do, we need an AFC I team. Mean, no, S. but I would. But I. But do I think the Dolphins are better than the Eagles? I don't. I don't. I don't either. Mm, I make that argumentation. The, the Eagles I would are love hurt. To see that the, game. <laughs> I, would yeah, love, I was about, I think it'd be a good game. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the Eagles are hurt right now. Matter Jordan fact, has they, said it's a it's going to be a hell of a game. That's a good next game. week. I don't know if that was the one. I'll check. Why do I owe Jordan an apology for? <laughs> I think you probably talk shit about the Eagles one time. I've never talked shit about the Eagles. I don't think you have. No. All right. Joey, yeah, shut I don't up. Think you have either. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and rearrange these. Ships I, have in the think, I have to think. I have to think about that because I, I think the Chiefs still uh, not, do move no, to the top. No, no, they're not. I do not think they're top of A. 
Uh, who's who's Lions, better than? Oh, oh, the Lions are actually are. I no, I think all of the teams that are in there, with the exception of the Bills, are better than them. That's true. I agree. Okay. Maybe. Uh, well, uh, with the exception of the Bills. With the exception of the Bills. I'm gonna move it back. <laughs> I think the Dolphins are. The, to, oh, to answer my earlier oh, question. Next week, Dolphins, Eagles. Hmm. Game of the week. Okay. I want a mid. I want a mid season <laughs> patch. I want a mid, I want in between tier list patch. If the Dolphins win, <laughs> I want I'm, the niggas dropped. I'm, oh I'm yeah, I'm be watching that game. I think it, did I pick the Rams over the Eagles last week? Because I oh yeah, you did. You yeah, because I thought the Eagles were due for a loss because they were. Four I would still gonna, say they're going to be off. bracket busted. Yeah, oh no, yeah. yeah. I still like the Eagles. I like your team. I just think they're due for a loss soon because it's yeah. hard to go so undefeated. They're going to make a Super Bowl, maybe. Uh, you got to make an NFC Championship, no probably. Doubt. Yeah, for sure. Um, can we pull right. Let's, do All right. Let's do the toughies. Can, um, can yeah? If can we move the Steelers ahead? Whoa, of the whoa, whoa! Why the Chargers there in B? We where do they belong? C. You think they belong C? Up. With that we coach, move a team up. with that coach, they are perpetually at C. We gotta Sorry, Josh, move a man, team like, up. If we gotta move a team up to A, to B. Uh, yeah, they to be. They are you. We can put them at the bottom of B. That, yeah, that, do that. Yeah. Do that. yeah. If we gotta move a team up to but B, I don't then think it's, the then, Jags are that good. Then it's the Steelers. The Jags the, are questionable. No, we don't have to move. No, no. If we drop one down, we move one up. Oh, but okay. the Jag, the Jags beat. Jags are questionable. As but they fuck. just beat they somebody beat in Bills. London. They important. Beat the Bills. Yeah, they beat that's the Bills. That's why. That's it's gonna give you some Sorry, points on the Josh, bracket. Wait, time out. You have a great team. What what are the what's the Bills record? Uh, the Bills, they're, doing good. they're three and two. They're three and two. Well, they lost so to the Jets yeah. and the Jags. Jags. They lost to the Jags and so oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The Jets, the Jets and the Jags. Jags. Why are they in a rank? They should be in B. They should be in B. Yeah, they You're, should. Be. Maybe top of B, but they should. be I don't in know B. why people like. No, but we just, have to have four. But they also beat good teams. They beat good teams too. Mm. They're, they're they beat the Dolphins. Spot. They beat. Yeah. They beat true. the shit out of the Dolphins. That's true. Fuck. No. They, the, <laughs> oh, the Bills are so inconsistent. They're the most God. Of, that's why I don't like. Consistent. That's why I don't like. Like they're an A team when they're performing. When they're, when they're great. great, they're but the best team. Like, give me, g- shit, give me team so. by records. Do we have a list? Can we search that? I'm up telling you, it's a shitload of three and twos. Tommy's and two and three. Tommy's right. So Minus the, like uh, Carolina this, Panthers. I like you know, we're we're, cool. we're overthinking this because it's still going to be mid. We're still going to be wrong. Got to go yeah. by yeah. eye test. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I like game. Ricardo's suggestion of swapping the Chargers and the Steelers. Steelers are winning their division right I agree. now, and they're better than the Ravens at least by record. Do yeah. you think the Steelers would beat the Chargers if they played each other? Yes. I do too. I think I don't know about that. One. I don't know about that. No, one. I think Against that poor. But actually, I don't know about the come... Chargers. The char... you know how I feel about the Chargers. <laughs> it <laughs> would come Dude. down to coaching and <laughs> Tomlin is a fuck a paper. Oh wait, you right, you right, you right, you right. I support the cause. It's, it's the coaching. Di- it's the coaching be a coaching difference. difference. Yeah, that's what loses them games. I think, is coaching. No, get me wrong. Anytime terrible. I think the Steelers are going to beat anybody, it's only by like a field goal or. Oh, it'll be ugly as fuck. It will be close. That's your gimme. Yes, this is your gimme. This is yours. Josh Man's man. I'm going to go on strike. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh Man. Have a better sorry, record. Man. And fire your coach. <laughs> that's, not, that's all they got to do. Yeah. Just fire your coach and you're in it. Josh Man, I've you been, are in it. I've been pro your roster for like yes. three years I've been now. pro your roster since Philip Rivers. Yeah. And it's just like, no, it's just shitty coaching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can you imagine if Mike Tomlin was coaching the Chargers? Oh, my God. Three Super Bowls. In. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> on this man. note, I think the Ravens need to move all the way below because the Steelers just beat whoa, them. Whoa, whoa, no, yeah. I saw, be I, I, no, 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 no. I don't yeah. think that's how it goes. Uh, I don't think it's just because you win. I think they're arcing because then the Bills would be above the Dolphins. It's okay. about also like they should have – like the Dolphins – I mean, how do I, the Ravens should have won that game. They just bumble fucked the shit out look? of that. How do you look? So the, I'm going the, by how you look. I, and I've been hard on yeah. the Ravens all season. Don't get it yeah. twisted. The Ravens are also fucking hurt. But I mean, if you want to, where do you think they should so go? So are the Steelers. Cam right. Hayward's out. Like yeah. you stop it. No, you had your gimme. You had your gimme. <laughs> the Steelers literally up. just beat the Ravens. Uh, but I mm, and they're winning, they're the, winning division. the division. They're number one in the division. Ah, fuck, you're right. That's you can't fair. do that. TJ. Yeah. Like, you got to look at what they look like. No, but they're also are they the same record? Are they both three and two? It doesn't matter. It depends who. At that point, it just depends be, on who. It's wins. not on who wins though, the because Steelers, then it's the Dolphins. Like that's not like the, the, Steelers, Dolph- the, Steelers the Bills are not better more, than the Dolphins. The Steelers tough. have more divisional wins. Yeah, this is literally how they do well, seeding the anyway. Ones. Yeah, they were better. The Bills are better than the Dolphins once. But that no, but that on but game the, day. The, the Bills, yeah. but the Bills are not ahead of the Dolphins on our tier list. 
No, they're not. No. So that's what I'm saying. But the Steelers, we, we, the Steelers should be ahead of the Ravens. I don't agree with that. They have a better really? divisional record, and they have. Steelers. And I mean, not Steelers. The, the Pittsburgh. I'm mean, not Pittsburgh. Fuck. Baltimore. Baltimore I'm not saying Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore looks great. Look, yeah, no, I'm not saying Baltimore don't. looks great. They look bad. I'm not saying Baltimore looks great because I've been hard on Baltimore. Yeah. All I know season. you have. I, I've been very You're tough right. on Baltimore. But what I'm saying is. When I look at them, like, and maybe it's just because it's ugly ass woods, because yeah. they're disgusting. They yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting. Now, if we're just talking about our offenses, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> but, that is the best fight. Yes, I will give you the defensive team, point. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because cause I was like, because I was like, those are disgusting yeah. wins. Yeah. And but I they're wins. <laughs> But I, but what I'm not saying, what I'm not going to do is sit yeah. here and be like, hey, if we're comparing wins, then that fucks up this entire list. No, we can, we'd be here all day. Like that right. would fuck yeah, up we the list. Because then the Jets, I mean, how about the, 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 the Jets are moving up. Yeah. Because they beat the Bills. And you know they should not. No. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you can't do that. This yeah, is yeah. one of the rare cases where I'm going to take that. Well, just because I'm looking at everything though. Like they, I believe they're both three and two. But the Ravens have a worse divisional record, and Good the night, team Genius that Monster. we're comparing them to, they lost against. So it's like. In every way, at best, the Ravens are tied. And, yeah. and every other way, the Steelers have beaten them. No, no, so I they should be what ahead. I, I, the defensive point is what I'm giving you. Take it <laughs> and run with it. The defense is a fair point. I am pointing out other reasons why. No, you stop it. Because you already got your dub. You got two. Shit, all right. We're proud to be in B. <laughs> um, I don't like the Jags right now, but I think they're our deserver. They are. I actually like they're them. They're on a winning streak. They they're trending up. No, yeah. they've been in London. It's inverse. It's, it's like weird. negative They're going to lose as soon as they get back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna become the Jags again. It's like they go over there and they get the, the and then it starts like to get kind of yeah yeah. Then it they starts to get kind of wonky. I actually don't think the Falcons should be that high. What do you think Falcons they should be? Falcons is a weird team. I think man. they're middle. weird. The like middle they, be. they are the most. I'm middle. I think they're the scrappiest team. Middle right, right there. Mid- middle. I don't think they're better than Indy. What part of that was middle? All right, that's I think middle. That's where they belong. Right. I think Indy. <laughs> I, I think the Rams are also I super trending Indy's up good. with uh, Cooper Puka, Cup and Nuka. They're a little high right now. I what do you want? I want to see it. I think. Fuck, I think they should think, be. In, I, it's just at this moment. I, I do think, think they're going to fall. In L.A. The what? I think India is better than L.A. I think. Mm, well, yeah, I was going to argue that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I genuinely do. I think, they got a better coach. I, I'm fine with this for now, but I'm that's hope. only because they're trending up. Yeah, they have a coach who wants to coach, which yeah, helps. I will. I think this is perfect the way it is. The at B is perfect good. the way it is. I like that. Um. So, like the team closest to B is the worst in the tiers. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that yeah, yeah. that looks pretty. Um, and then see, how, I don't think I changed. We might be overrating the Rams a little bit. I mean, I think Texans. I are think better. they're, they're Texans just... are definitely better than the fucking Titans. Well, they are. Oh, ahead. They are ahead. Yeah. We I thought the. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I you got what you wanted. I get hostile, man. <laughs> hey, the Titans are three? mentioned. Huh? Are y'all two, three? Two and three, yeah. Yeah, yeah the you're same fine. You're... Y'all are, so Atlanta I will argue y'all might be the best. I, I might pull up the Texans because I do like oh, the way they look. I think. Can we pull that back up? I think the Jets are. Worse oh, we would beat that. the fuck out of the Jets. You yeah. need to move the Jets back. I yeah, the Jets uh, is not good. I, I feel like I need to move them below the Browns. Yeah, you know you need to move past the, the Browns. Browns. Yeah, they're worse than the Saints. The Saints, Saints go up. Yeah, yeah Saints, Saints definitely go up. go up. I think the Saints think, even I go higher the than the Browns. So, Josh Man Forever. <laughs> let me t- let me be one hundred percent honest with you. If the Chargers beat the Cowboys, the Cowboys move down. The Chargers don't move up. <laughs> you guys stay there. We just get negative. <laughs> I think the Saints might be ahead of everybody in that tier except the Chargers. Right. Because they're, I that. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's about They're right. three and two. You got to give them credit for that. Yes. Yeah, Sammy's that's right. That's true. Green Bay's not good. Uh, and whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think you need to no, move that No, time out, time out, time out. I think you just need to move Green Bay back. Uh, two and three. There, this is all two and three, All two bro. and three. No, so, so yeah. Green Bay's two and three, too? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd actually put them below the Browns, though. Yeah, I think that. Well, the Bra- yes, I don't know what the... No one knows what the fuck I is going on with the Browns. I the do. Browns are still immensely well, talented. Sean Watson doesn't want to play football. But their defense so. is really their fucking good. They have Miles good. Garrett. Yeah. 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 It's above the Browns. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No. I think the Browns are better. I think the Browns are better. Yeah. Just because they have a better uh, team. That Green Bay and Browns, I don't know. I will Jets put them. Cousins away from the playoffs. <laughs> 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 they are. Jets, they really are. I, I'm, uh, actually, I'm actually going to push for the Jets being up, too. No, you think I'm they're not. better than the Browns? I can't. 
Mm. They're, they're, you're being too clouded by uh, you being cl- no, they're not good. Zach but Zach Wilson good. played well, has played pretty well the last two all right. games. All right. all right. good. He's been well, trending look. up, and he kept it close with the Chiefs, who are in a. Well, if Come we on. do that, if we're doing the Zach Wilson's been playing good for two games, so it's just no, Fields. just no. saying. Now, if we're doing that, no. he's one too. Yeah, but so yeah, why just, aren't they close to each other? Because Justin Fields, because Justin Fields played well against teams that are also in D. They're fine. Well, uh, he played well against on, Washington man. there in C. I, <laughs> barely. <laughs> a win's a win. <laughs> C is C. So I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think this is the fun. The Bears are trending upward. The Bears are trending upward. So, you think they're going to win this week? They play, no, yeah, they're not trending upward. <laughs> <laughs> they, caught, say, they caught Ron Rivera asleep at the wheel, which isn't that hard. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. I say we hold this for now, and we'll come back in week 10 and we'll see who's there. Let's around. see how okay. it looks. Really I want a mid-season patch. <laughs> I want to. I want to. In between this week and week five and week ten, can we pull it up one more time? I, I think I feel pretty good about it. I think, I think it looks good. The Sorry. Won the next five games. They won. The <laughs> uh, they have a pretty easy schedule. I remember. That means nothing. <laughs> when John uh, hey, is Jordan Dales still lingering in the chat? Hey, Jordan. He's not. I'll make you a little bet. About what? Oh, because our game's coming up soon. So what? The, the Dallas Eagles? Mm-hmm. Bet. What are you betting? I'm betting. I'm winning. Why? Oh, don't do That's that. That's foolish. I'm betting I'm winning. Don't Why are you do doing things that don't because make sense? Because it's a divisional game, baby. Uh, yeah, it's divisional, divisional, divisional games division. are weird. Care, but how many times have you caught, you caught them, what, once? Maybe? Last year, we beat them once, them once and we lost them once. And we well, yeah, lost that, with Cooper Cut. I mean, I mean, <laughs> lost with us. TJ, no! How do you typically go? Is it you usually want every that was against Gardner They usually split. They usually split. Okay. But wasn't that against Gardner Menchu when you guys won? You beat Gardner Menchu. Hey, that don't count. Uh, Mark yeah, Gardner Menchu is a starter. I mean, a win's a win. I'd take it. No, no, no. But Gardner Menchu. I'm saying, don't bet. Gardner Menchu is a starting quarterback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he should be. Starting, yeah, he's starting he right be, now. He should, <laughs> fuck that. He should be a <laughs> right. franchise quarterback. He's starting right now. What's he talking about? That's what Gardner Menchu can do. Gardner Menchu is a starting quarterback. He can finish a game. That's crazy. What did I tell you about Anthony Richardson? What? He can't finish a goddamn game because he's a goon and he fucking injures himself with stupid shit. He's got a better record than C.J. Stroud. He does. Not better numbers. I don't care about that. I care about wins. I'm a Steelers fan. You think I give a shit about numbers? I care about dubs, man. Ugly and as grimy as they are. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Because longevity-wise, I'd rather have a C.J. Stroud than a motherfucker who hurts himself celebrating. I don't want sustained mediocrity. Either win, help us win or get the fuck out. I think he can, he, <laughs> hey, he set us up for a win. The defense let us down. He no. was clutch as fuck. He got that. He, hey, look. You need a touchdown. He got the touchdown you needed, and then you fucked You up. need but more than is, a touchdown. You need a miracle. This is why I am... <laughs> This is why I pushed a little bit on the numbers we beat the and the fuck teams. Out of you. Yeah. These motherfuckers will put everything Old in deep. <laughs> we don't. We don't let. But you that. did. <laughs> we looked hideous that game. He torched y'all by himself. He I... does it alone. <laughs> it's still the Texans, man. It's only so much a rookie can do. Jesus. So I think, uh, but I think it's, it's the America. Texans with two top ten picks. Y'all don't know where the fuck the second one's at. He, <laughs> he hasn't fucking shown up. One sack, get the fuck out of here. We spent a lot on you, Will Anderson. Do some shit. <laughs> God damn it. I, oh, sorry. I'm just kind of taking a little breather. Yeah, you're looking at the, it. The, 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 the Lions are what? The Lions are good. They're four and one. Uh, yeah. Guess who one. else is good? TJ Jared Goff. They, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. Dave Mon- good. No, Dave Montgomery looks good. Um, so does Jared Goff. So they both look good. <laughs> Pro yes. Football Focus ranked Jared Goff the Precision. number one quarterback. quarterback Accuracy. Five. Really Dave great Montgomery decision making. <laughs> he is. Dave they're, Montgomery looks good. They're both good. Yeah. They have a great O line. Will you ever give yeah, him Yeah, that helps Jared Goff look no, good. Jared he gave him his flowers when he beat Aaron Rodgers last year. That's true. No more Aaron Rodgers. Because it's two evils. That's why. Where do we have the Seahawks? Because the Seahawks are the only the Lions' only loss. I think the Seahawks are pretty good. I don't know. The Seahawks are in B. Yeah. No pack. Yeah, they're fine. Geno mm, Smith okay. is looking more like Geno Smith. I can't tell. I, I, think the C- I think the Seahawks might be better than the Jags, but I, I don't want to. Whatever that. Well, the Jags are just weird. I don't know what's going no, on with look, them. They're winning in someone, Jolly Old London. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, it's the extra. Someone who knows the Jags, they're still they're always going to be the Jags. They won a playoff game last year. Right. Super. Someone had to. In the <laughs> why wasn't it the fuck else was going to win? Why wasn't it the Texans? Because we were dead last. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I thought. And guess who was biased? Indy. <laughs> guess who was right by us after that? Tennessee. It's a <laughs> shitty division. It's easy to win that. Bill, Bill, look, Bill O'Brien won it five years in a row. Come on, it's not hard to win that division. I hate when people put a lot what? into it. With Tennessee and the Jags and Houston, actually. But I feel it's like an easy it's division a lot to, win. to win. Anywhere. 
easy expedition to win. So, yeah, no. Jags are still the Jags. They play well in London because that's where they should be anyways. And no one likes them when they come home. So I it's will, just like, and they lose. So I, it's what it is. What I think is interesting is I think B has the highest variance of – <laughs> could be good, could be could, bad. Could be good, yes. could be bad. I mean, that's like, every oh. team. Is, <laughs> no, practical. well, I mean, the D team, the D teams are bad. The D teams um, are bad. Except for the Bengals, you know in which case, really I don't know bad. what's happening with them. But like, you know bad. who's really it's bad, really you bad. know who's really good. But like, B, like, you know, hey, coming into like coming into last week, I would yeah. argue my team is A. <laughs> you so, I would yeah, too. And then I'm not gonna I be mad. I, I'm not gonna be mad that got beat the brakes off by the S tier, but I'm still gonna be mad they got beat the brakes off in general, you know? Uh-huh. Still um, but break. like they're also the ones where it's like, hey, if they run the game, like, what happens if they beat the Eagles? I don't fucking know. Like shit's gonna be weird. <laughs> so, not, not to harp on your point, uh, but you don't know what's going on with the Bengals? <laughs> oh, oh, I know what's yeah, going on with the Bengals. That's why I wanted to take bangles. back what I said because I knew it. Uh, bengals going to bungle. That's yeah, exactly I what's do. going on with the Bengals. Like, yeah, a bunch I of I, fucking I, I, paper tigers. I literally, I literally said, oh, shit, I shouldn't have mentioned the Bengals. I knew you were going to set them off. Man. I knew who I activated. You don't mention the Bengals or the Titans over this side of the tape. <laughs> you know this. And you, yeah, I guess you just don't mention my team. <laughs> I, like, I don't even have an enemy team. No, but that sucks for you, though. Like, you could beat the Eagles and you still have to be like, oh, we beat the Eagles. Like, and it's you just, can't really feel joy. Uh, it's just it's weird. Like, they just yeah, be like, it's, it's oh, just, it's a divisional they game. Keep putting you in weird spots to where it's like, but you lost against the Cardinals. And you I mean, but to, but I, like, so for you know? me, the car, like, so that's where I say I take one game every year. Where I'm like, that's just a bad game, right? And I'm like, for me, it happens. I, I'm like, it happens. It happens. I use that point against the 49ers game. Uh, uh, Because that was bad across the board. Cardinals was just bad performance. I get that. But I'm also not going to sit here and, like, I don't like to use the, oh, but they lost to the Cardinals argument. It's it's really comparing to good teams. Um, And so if we come out and win the Eagles, that will 100% give me confidence. The problem is it won't tell me how we'll perform against the 49ers. It won't tell me how we'll perform against some other good teams. It'll just tell me that we perform against another good team. On that day, you were better. And that's the weird thing about the Cowboys. It's really just whatever Sunday. It's really li- literally any mm-hmm. given Sunday. You can win any game. You can lose any fucking game. And that's scary, man. Like, it's no confidence, really. It's just like, well, it's hopefully they're good today. Season. Well, yeah. there's, there's no consistency. No consistency. Right. And that's, that's honestly. The consistent thing is that they make playoffs. It. After that, yeah. it's fucking. Well, you know, you know. Jerry Jones' party. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know as far as you're going to go. It's like, can we make it over that hump? I, don't I mean, know, not. that's and kind that's of, I, I know that it didn't exactly pan out, but that's how I was grading these teams. Yeah. It's consistency. So, like, the Colts are not the best team, but they've yeah, consistently they showed out. Yeah. yeah. The Rams They're have consistently showed out. I don't know. I mean, the, you, we Bucks will. Are making all, it. Yeah. Yeah. They're winning we, their division. They're doing what they got to do. I and think it. the Buccaneers will make it till they can't, yeah. which is. What we say, and when Cowboys win, Baker, they w- like they. <laughs> he doesn't wear success well. And when he the Cowboys win, they win huge. They don't win close. It's weird. They, yeah. They're. Uh, I heard that someone bring up this analogy. I think it was Chris Broussard, and I kind of agree with it. The Cowboys, they're kind of bullies. Where they, when it's a play against an inferior team, they beat the shit out of oh, them. Oh yeah. But when someone punches someone back, punches back they they're they crumble. kind of, they kind of fold a little yeah. bit. So, but there are a lot of teams that are worse than them. So they should be able to bully their way to the playoffs. <laughs> I, no, fuck that, Gertz. We don't know half the team. I mean, half the fucking league is. Oh like, no, the Cowboys will make. You play. know what I mean? Not, like it's. You don't I don't know what a make, lot of these teams even are. You, I mean, don't, you don't think the Cowboys are going to make the playoffs? Oh no, they will. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, come on, we, there's an extra spot. Like, like, yeah, yeah they'll, they'll be. Fine. There's an extra yeah. spot. And what are we fighting on in the division? Yeah, we have the Eagles above, no, but no, the other so two? Look up on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. I was like, NFC ain't It's a big drop-off yeah. in the NFC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. Like, I mean, I think the three best teams in the NFC, I think most people would agree, are the Niners are clearly one, yeah. the, the Eagles, Eagles are two, and the Cowboys. Lions are three. Cowboys, Lions, yeah. Yeah. That's it. And then I'd put the Lions at four. I, I think people forget about the Lions. I'm gonna be honest, and that'll be that'll continue to happen until the playoffs. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, also, no, no, no. Fuck that. They deserve all that. Right. And that's every, me liking the Lions right now. Because they, everyone has tried to give the Lions success for the last few years, and it just never panned out. So well, this I time, we, yeah, this time, I'm, I, I will give... I will, it's been a steady growth for them. Yeah. yeah. No, but this has been true blue growth. Yeah. Yes. I, don't, I really don't want them to get over to a hump of the season and just fucking fuck it up. I know. Well, yeah, that would make me sad. It wouldn't surprise Cause, me. Because, like, I, unlike the Bengals, they don't come across as yeah. arrogant when they're like, hey, like, we... 
we've got this now. We can do this. It that, feels more inspiring. The do, Bengals, they, when, when you have fucking Joe Burrow dressed like a Dick Tracy character, like he's accomplished something, <laughs> that doesn't fucking help. It's, it's like Joe got, Cool. Oh, I got my shoes cool. from my friend. Real Kid cool. Buddy. Limping around out there. How about you spend money on fucking healing your cat yeah. instead of your wardrobe? <laughs> Jesus. I was about to say, the only person. He's a, he's a fighter, Gertz. He wants to be out there with his soldier. The only person that had swag in the Lions um, locker room was Jamal, and he left to New Orleans. Yeah. So. I don't know who to they the have there now. Like, Dan Campbell doesn't have Sam swag. Brown. He has heart. I like heart. Fuck swag. Give me a fucking they are, heart. They are the underdog team that it's, that's performing. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I want to root for this team. They might yes. actually have a chance to do something. So this will be very interesting because I do think that we, we play quite a few of these upper tier teams. Um, and I'm not giving my team a lot of extra chances, uh, but I don't know. I feel like there's some good games in the future. Not necessarily just, just for me. Games, I think there should yeah. be some fun games. Well, yeah. Also, there's so many three and two and two and three teams. It's like, God damn. Who knows? I need to, yeah, I, <laughs> be I need this next <laughs> five games to come so we actually know what's up. Yeah, this, this B and C cha- and teams are really I interchangeable. Know. I don't know what Atlanta is. I don't know what Jacksonville so might I, win. I was so they pissed off. Fuck, I was I pissed know. off with Atlanta because Atlanta looked like a competent team the last time I watched them, and I was like, "What's this passing shit?" Mm-hmm. You're supposed to run. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, said, I, I, I said, I saw y'all doing other shit, and I was mad. I mentioned, uh, uh, well, I brought, no, Desmond Ritter was brought up to me by my brother-in-law. Because oh, at the Steelers game, I was like, I, Kenny Pickett is in the conversation for, like, worst quarterback in the league. I was like, it's Kenny Pickett. Uh, Zach Wilson and Mac Jones and my brother-in-law just goes I'm not going to let you just ignore Desmond Ritter like that and I, was like, I was like hey have you seen him hand it off yeah, he, he handed it off with the off. slickness yeah, yeah. that's right De- this Sunday Desmond Ritter took his name off that list oh, like yeah. a fucking all star yeah. yeah I was like yeah. who the fuck is this guy shitty Texans defense like yeah, yeah. hard counts making motherfuckers jump he got 25 yards making motherfuckers jump because of that voice I mean he's the yeah. ugliest motherfucker alive yeah. and I know we're not supposed to say things like that. He is hideous. Can we bring that up a picture of him? freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> it really does, man. And I would never say that about anyone. He freaks me the fuck out. I don't know what his face is. I don't know what these teams are, and I don't know what Ted Ritter's face is. Is he 30 or whoa, is he 20? Whoa, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what is he? I, I, wow. He looks like Mark. Wa- he looks in- like a lost Wahlberg brother. I, I don't know if there's such thing as like a pre-burn victim. <laughs> But if there is that, he's 24. No, what? He's not. No, he's not. That motherfucker's 38. He's <laughs> Does he? No, that's Joshua Dobbs. That's Josh Dobbs. Josh Dobbs is a trooper. This motherfucker is. Like he looks like Marky Mark. Right now. He's 24 going on 53. Get the fuck out of here. 24, my ass. Good lord. With that hairline? Come on. It Fuck this, man! Read about the way. It is a little His lot of hairline receded twenty five yards. <laughs> it's a lot of bit off putting. He did hand it to Bijan's ass somehow, like on the game this week. He beat the shit out of him, but didn't he get it? Yeah, he did. Oh yeah, so Bijan's like, got those tight cheeks. <laughs> oh, a, oh, he had a hell of a catch. Yeah, like he swerved the ball around. And he was in full motion, <laughs> like globe trotter. Yeah, <laughs> it's like goddamn this little motherfucker. They kept him under control for the most part, but yeah, no, I have a right. Because he fucked over my team. It was a tough, tough loss. Well, on that note. But he did good. Go straight into your attaboy. My attaboy? Yeah, oh, for yeah. the week. I got to give it to Desmond. I talk shit about him, so I'll, do, I'll go give him a solid. Because, <laughs> no, nah, man, he, we didn't, we, they totally was like, we don't have to worry about this fucking guy passing. Yeah. We have to worry about the run. Guess what they did? They sealed up B. John Robinson for the most part. Mm-hmm. And this motherfucker diced them the fuck up. And yeah. it was just like. Mm-hmm. Well, this is what happens when you underestimate people. Lesson learned. It's humbling. Mm-hmm. Do you you know learn from it, and hopefully you don't get beat by another team like this. Mm-hmm. It was a close game, so it was you know it was mm-hmm. a disappointing loss, which I'm happy about because usually it's just oh this team's trash. I need to find <laughs> something of theirs to burn, and uh, well, I'm not there anymore. I'm like disappointed. You loss. lost. You lost a good one. It okay. was a good. It was a good solid loss. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I was I was tempted to go with with T.J. Watt. But, uh, but I'm going to put my bias aside, even though he played great. Um, I'm going to go with Sammy's guy. I'm going to go with Max Crosby because that game he's last night, it. he he was awesome last night. Don't and he was, the, he was the reason the Raiders don't, won. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> he's been doing well. He looked well, he's great. He's doing really well. I did. You have that rule. 
I want to give Jordan Love a teeny bit of credit because Jordan Love did stiff arm him on one play. And I was like, ooh, I didn't know Jordan Love could do that. But Max Crosby still wrecked that game. Yeah, so. he, he probably didn't know he could do He's that like, oh, as he was stiff arming. I'm allowed to do this? <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't pull it to Sean Watson and just sling him off. True. No, it was clean. <laughs> Some dirty <laughs> shit trying to break his fucking neck. No, no Raiders players. Don't take a Max Crosby played well last It's like the only one we can give it to. No, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Don't make this a Going to give it to Garoppolo? He didn't play that badly. He had one pick. <laughs> good for him. It's good for him. <laughs> well, good for him. I'm, I'm going with a homer for me. I'm giving it to Zach Moss or running for 165 yeah, like yards. I'm not a fucking saying. homer. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that man's team is rough. They're, they're, they're the only, team, that, the only oh. team I worry about in the division. TJ? <laughs> who are we giving what it do to? Mean, I'm, who am I giving it to? Not, not <laughs> Did you watch any of the mm-hmm. games? Are, are you giving it to Kittle for going three receptions and three touchdowns? Or Brock Purdy? Didn't Brock Purdy, Purdy throw four touchdowns? Yes, four. He did. Yeah, I'm not. I don't give awards to the enemy. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. You can't give it to a cowboy. We all know that. Nigga, no. I didn't say that. <laughs> don't you? Don't you offend me? Don't you offend me? You have to play good for this award. The Kelsey. Bu- <laughs> Kelsey. Travis Kelsey? Because he came back and I respect Because he gave him. us a show with a fake injury and it came back. It wasn't fake injuries, mm-hmm. but. Fake as fuck. Anyone who comes back from injuries and closes He's a out. fucking drama queen. <laughs> oh, yeah, getting swifty in here. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for him to have Swift on the back of his yeah. Are you, is, uh Is Mr. Swifty your uh, take a lap? No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my take a lap. See, take a lap was tough this week. It was I really want it's between Belichick and Peyton. And I think oh, yeah. I gotta give it to Peyton. Yeah. You, you embarrassing little fuck. <laughs> you need to retire. Because you a trash. This is not a league anymore, and I will stick to this. This will be my thing for the rest of this season. These old coaches gotta get the fuck out. It's no place for them anymore. It's no place. You got Mike McDaniels, you mm-hmm. have uh, Shanahan's still young. I know you hate him, but he's still young. Yeah, he's on the younger side. Yeah, you got McVay. You have mm-hmm. that uh, Steichen. Like, who are like the veteran head coaches who are still like good? Like Harbaugh, Tomlin. Harbaugh, that's it. You that might be them. it. Yeah, you <laughs> them. that's it. And they're struggling. Ish. They're, Ish. Yeah. For them, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is this is a tough season for them, and they right. they're very used to success. No man, it's over for them. Like whatever the league is and players are now. It's I mean, no place for these old. Tomlin is winning, but he is not adapting, like the chat is saying. Yeah, you. It's, yeah. it's a whole different. I think, like even the way, like look at a Mike McDaniel's and a, a Sirianni, uh, Nick Sirianni. Like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It, and even a Shane Steichen or D'Amico Ryan's. Like it's just, it's they their vibes are completely well, different. What the, they do is just different. The way they communicate. D'Amico with hasn't done anything yet. No, he's he's rallied. Look, he's two and three. That team is trash. Right now, they're not very work. good. No, no, no. He's doing the groundwork, Gertz. Let the man do the groundwork. It's like when you like. It's like crowning Dan Campbell after his first season. Like, no, give no, it, no. Give but, it, give no, it a no, second. No, but you could see them rallying around a Dan Campbell. True. Even that bitch Vrabel. Like you saw them rallying. You like, oh, but you would still refuse to say he's a good coach. You're like, no, he's not. <laughs> but like, no. Just because a team, just because dumbass players rally around you, doesn't make you a good coach. Yeah, exactly. That, that's literally but, his only job. But that's what he's good at. He is good at. Fucking gaslighting these players into thinking he's. <laughs> you, you, like, you just can't compare him to like Sirianni and. I'm not at all. He's okay, not good. Even remotely close in the conversation with those. Not guys. yet, at but least. Not even. He won't ever be. <laughs> Maybe. Like, he won't. <laughs> I don't know how a coach gets CTE, but I don't know. Like, still. D'Amico got CTE? No, I'm talking about Brable's dumbass. Oh, I thought you were like, look. He's no, a former it's player. Just, it's a new day. No, I mean, today, actively, because he's a meathead and he runs into walls. But like. It's a, just a different day. And like the Belichick way, the fucking uh, Peyton way, those things don't work for these players anymore. And they make it known because you go from great defenses to shitty defenses. Mm-hmm. And why? I think it's the coaching. And well, you got embarrassed by Nathaniel Hackett. End yeah. Of story. So, yeah, you it's, deserve to take a lap and also go to the unemployment line. It was tempting to give Nathaniel Hackett a that a boy just for that. <laughs> Really they wild. gave him the game ball. Yeah, they did. That that kind of made me go like, you know, good on you, Jets, because they were all like, we did this for Nate. <laughs> they love that guy. Yeah. I can't say that for the Broncos loving Sean Payton. No. He should be, <laughs> That's he, what I'm saying. He should be fired. He's trash. Well, they spent a lot of money. Well, Gertz, who's your take a lap? I alluded to, uh, alluded to it earlier. I'm going to go with Micah Parsons, because uh, not, no not, not, not only did he not play well, 
But just like the way, the things he's been saying since the loss, it's like, you just need to shut up. Like you take your medicine and shut up, get off your podcast and go to practice because you got humiliated. I'm not liking this podcast. I don't like it place, either. Man. You got to do it college place too. Like a uh, old boy in Colorado has a podcast. You got to be, you have to be. Travis uh, Hunter's nice. Though. Travis Hunter's great. You need yeah. to be an established vet. To do it, like you should be retired. Like I'm okay with. I want to see. I think that. I'm only okay with the Kelseys doing it. Yeah, because they're like yeah, they're on their okay. I'm last okay with legs. Bon Miller doing it, right? Because they've been they're Cam, Newton, right. Cam, Newton's. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Yeah. Cam Newton. Yeah. And like, and even in basketball, I'm not a fan of his, but Draymond Green having a podcast, I'm like, I'm, I'm fine okay with, with that. that. Yeah. You won champions. I don't yes. mind. I don't mind Micah having a pod. Well, I don't mind Micah having a podcast per se. He's good at it, but like, like I, I think my delta comes from like when you, I'm like, okay. you're too. I guess it just was like. Hey, you got to be a little more fired up if you're going to... Because I don't think he said anything crazy towards the 49ers. He was just like... No. Cry, he was like, laugh now, cry later. Like, he was just saying usual trash talk, which is fine. I'd rather you do that than nothing. But he's just... Uh, but I'm with you. I'd rather you be like, it's hey... A, like, it's got to be a like, distraction, you, right? Like, yeah. you, you, you can't get your ass beat and it, not come out swing, or at least be frustrated with it. Yeah. Give some clear... I, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. He was just like, yeah, man. I was like, no, man. Like, uh, like, look, we want that, man. These kids aren't like that anymore. They just aren't. I don't know about They're that. They're not. They don't have that doll. They don't have that shark. They don't have that Kobe, that MJ in them, the way it's like... There's got to oh, be. Oh, there's family. plenty of kids that do. I was going to say, there are a few really? of them that do. Yeah. Who? Yeah. I mean, we watched the dude from Colorado play offense and defense. Yeah. Like, okay, that's got to take. No, he's yeah. great. No, but he's probably going to be nice to his opponent after. I don't want that shit. I want you to wish death on their families, I'm, on their unborn children. Hey, well, I need that. When I need you, that fight. I, when did you start taking plays out of Sammy's? You, you, don't, you don't get to be no. the No, stop it. Uh, right. This man, look, this man grew up watching Kobe. He knows what's up. I grew I'm, up watching MJ. I'm I miss not, that I mean, shit, like, man. Look, okay, I let's miss not, that now, time out, now, time out. I will still say, I will still say, let's not get it twisted. There's still NFL players who play pretty good. Yeah. But I think my delta is, I think the public perception of you being that person is a lot tougher to get across sometimes. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's why it's like, hey. You can vibe with. A I, mic. I would say Trayvon's pretty aggressive. Trayvon's hella aggressive. He no, he's hella aggressive. I love that. He, he cusses out. Uh, I, I think the chat's right by bringing up Max Crosby. Yep. Yes. Oh, it's still a few that have some dogs in like, them. I, I, sure. I, I, I do like. I don't. I, I'm with you. I like players who have some like gall to them. It's, hey, it's why I respect. At the end of the day, Kittle doing his whole fuck. Te- that's yes. that's how it should be with a rivalry. Yeah. You and, can't come out and just. Well, like Kittle obviously does. Yeah. yeah, and he has Kittle a, has fun. Though. He is a goofy voice, but I think Patrick Mahomes does. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes sure. talks. He has a dog in him. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, he absolutely does. Yeah, so I think they're young. He will players. cuss his whole fucking. T- yeah, <laughs> he will cuss his whole. But I don't think they encourage nearly as much. Mm-hmm. Um, especially the league fines for everything. That's you know, true. That's a good point. Wild. You get punished. Yeah, they really do. You get punished like at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Like I was, I was terrified when T.J. Watt took off his helmet after getting that <laughs> game-ending sack. I was like, for two I was like, <laughs> leave your helmet on. Take like wait for the clock goes down to zero, hey, then rip it you off. Don't tell a Watt that. Let him do it. No. Little, yeah, you let him take that helmet. Uh, they my, too big and strong. Yeah. My take a lap is Kirk Cousins for throwing an interception at the beginning and at the end of this game. Leave Kirk alone. Kirk Cousins doing Kirk Cousins shit. He's not that bad. Was the game at three? <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. yes, it was. Yes. But it was against the Chiefs, and they're good. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's Make mine easy, you know. If a game is. is at from three to seven, yeah. if the game is at three to seven, Kirk Cousins. I'm really surprised good. it got all the way to him before this came up, but yeah. yeah. Mm. My entire fucking team. Oh, yeah, the Cowboys. <laughs> my. <laughs> Mike McCarthy taking the lead on that, John. No. Oh, Look, they, like, man. at the end of the day, say what you will about the Cowboys, they're better than a 30-point gap to any team. Yeah. They are better. Than oh, yeah. They should, bad day. They should have lost nonsensical. by 32 points. That, like, really like, like I, can, I, can, I can say a lot of shit about my team. They're better than a 30-point gap. They don't yeah. – They like, that's terrible. That gap was even bigger than the Steelers against the Niners. Mm-hmm. We lost by 23. It's a hell of a gap. It's, it's a, a hell of a day. Yeah. It's, a, it's a bad day. Who do y'all play this week? Um, we play the Chargers. The Chargers. Hey, oh, oh, I don't know. I think he'll beat them. You That's should. a well, more revenge match. We'll come. Should beat them. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, we'll see if we do pick the Cowboys to beat the Chargers. Okay. Do we have- and we are back. Um, we're going to be doing pickums, and we're starting off with uh, the opposite of a barn burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thursday night For game. Sure. We got uh, the Broncos going to the Chiefs. One percent of people have picked the Broncos. So if the, <laughs> so, just hypothetically, if the Chiefs lose, what does that do to powering? Man, we ain't even doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they go down to B. 
I need a couple no. of weeks. Yeah, because, yeah. It's, TJ wants to come back. He's like, I think my team can come right back. Oh, hey, man, I'm on the cusp. You already know I said, I got to push. I said, you might as well be Nostradamus. You know exactly what your team's going to do. Also, I'm in second place for pickups. You are. It's a weird season. Yeah, it's, but, like, I, this is such a really hard – yeah. number one, which is what it should be. Shut up! <laughs> You'll choke. You always do. No, no. I mean, I'm t- I think me and Gertz have finished both years number one. I finished – First, after the regular season last year, yes, yeah. but then the playoffs. I ended up after the playoffs, you were number one, right? He was number yeah, one, yeah, and was awesome. Like, and you, you and I tied, yeah. Usually, you end up winning, sneaking up, and winning. Yeah, yeah. I was still sober. He enough. forgets, the yeah, pick. yeah. Marcos <laughs> won two years in a row. Oh, what the, fuck? yeah, <laughs> yes. You didn't say anything, <laughs> just quietly over here winning, yeah, okay, because he doesn't talk shit needlessly like you do. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I have to. It's in me. <laughs> I think we're all picking the Chiefs here. I think we're all picking the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Next game, we got the Ravens going to Tennessee. Definitely the Ravens. Uh, You're going to stop. No. You've got to stop, Gertz. This is close, but I'm also going with the Ravens. Okay. Like, it shouldn't be. It's not that close. I think it is pretty close. I think this game's going to be ugly and it's going to be close. Ugly, maybe. Yeah. I think the Titans are are so. I mean, the Ravens are so, like, injured that the the Titans could get them. I don't know what Tannehill you're getting. From right. one week to the other. So, yeah, I mean, they might sneak one. But you do know what Ravens receivers are getting. Drops. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, People man. with nubs How's for hands. O- Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Acquisition looking. Oh, shit. This is a London game. 8.30 in the morning. These niggas in this London games this season. <laughs> gotta, is it just a current rotation? Are the Ravens already in London? Brand, man. Yeah. And oh. Plus, they're doing Germany and Mexico, so it's going to be a mm. lot of... Yeah, but Mexico is Mexico's like, you're like, in the yeah. same time zone. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mexico. They should have more oh, Mexico yeah. games, I think, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably easy for certain teams to go to Mexico than it is to, like, Seattle. Fucking London. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy, the, man. That's too much. The Ravens deserve better than a London game. <laughs> yeah, you send you send teams that don't matter usually to London. That's going to affect this game too. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> notice how the Cowboys have never gone to well, London. Ten- You're right. <laughs> Tennesseeans are trash. So, the Chiefs are not uh, in so, London. They are. Oh, if you support the Titans, you're trash. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm still going with the Ravens. Uh, give a flying fuck. Hey, yo, the moment I they, that, I hate that if they get if they, the if, if they get an NFL in Japan, I'll go over and play. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, who's trying to play in the NFL in Japan? <laughs> this one, this next one's tough. Uh, no, nah, it's not tough for me at all. I'm picking really? the Falcons. Yeah, I picked the, Falcons, uh, the, com- yeah. the commies are going to Atlanta. Yeah, I'm picking the Falcons. I'm picking the Falcons. All right, this next magic. one's tough for me. Uh, this next one is tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, this is a They don't bowl have game. Justin yeah, Jefferson. Is. I know. That's why I'm, I'm picking the Bears. I'm picking the Bears, too. <laughs> He's better than Justin it's Fields. It's at 12, though. It's at 12. Oh, fuck. You're right. I'm going back to the Vikings. I don't know either, man. <laughs> like, God damn. Kirk Cousins at noon. Oh, is, he still has Osborne. I'm going Kirk. I'm picking those Grizzlies. Uh, but is, and, it, hey, is Justin Fields for real? Is this a. No. 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 Is it a fluke? He doesn't eat meat. He threw 400 yards. Gertz almost, what was three touchdowns? That's like eating meat. It's, it's like not, meat. It's not like no, eating no. meat. I know because I. Eating, he's eating that impossible. It's not food. like eating meat. I eat a lot of meat and I've never thrown for that many yards. It's not the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm picking the Vikings, but I mean, that I is really like a garbage game. The way. Yeah. Man, this is not a tough week, I feel like. Uh, this one, next one's tough. Not to him. Yeah. But to me, it's very tough. For why? Why is it tough? I'm I'm Seattle big. going to Cincinnati. I'm. Seattle. Big in Seattle. Se- Seattle's look better all year. All right, do it if you want to. I will. I'm sticking with our power rankings where we put Seattle a tier high. Believe, I believe in Joe Cool, man. That's my guy. Dude, he hasn't made me more believe than five. Him, believe in him alone. He's been hurt. Up until. Like, can the man be hurt? He's human. He's yeah. still hurt he's now. Still human. He's still hurt. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> Up until last week, he was literally the worst quarterback in the league. But I don't think anybody is. Isn't there a bye week next week? Can stop a uh, The Bengals? Chase. I think so. I know the Steelers' bye week is this week. Uh, so I think so. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, man, that means Gertz is going to have a plus one because he doesn't have to pick the Steelers. That being hey, said, he was the well, only one that picked re- yeah, yeah, the freebie. They helped me out. Otherwise, I would have been drinking That's garbage with TJ. <laughs> she, oh, oh. got to recharge this battery. Vice will shut down shut in down five, five, uh, five seconds. Yeah, tell me, why that sound like a game? <laughs> that sounds like a game show answer. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, yeah. I ten- plugged in and still loses. Yeah. yeah, what's going on? It's gone. It's dead now. You have to unplug it and then replug it in and it'll turn 
I'm not doing that. Hood shit. Okay. <laughs> the 40... I, I, oh, by the way, I took the Seahawks. You took okay. the Seahawks? Okay. I'm the 49ers are going though. to Cleveland. Um, I'm picking the 49ers. Yeah, that's my choice. I'm picking the um, Niners. The... But if they get bracket busted in this game... I would love it. I'm I, I'm I don't think it actually hurts their power rankings no, at all if they lose this no, game. I'm, not, I'm, I don't think they will lose this I'm game. I'm picking the Niners, but this is a trap game. Yep. This is absolutely The defense is good. I do the not. The Browns see defense that, is very good. That I think, offense is, well, he ain't, I don't think Deshaun's even playing because he doesn't feel like it. Like, I don't know what that <laughs> offense right. is. They don't, <laughs> they don't have Chubb in, anymore. Like, it's yeah. so true. Defense is a cool, but when you have Brock Purdy putting up <laughs> fucking four touchdowns, yeah. I don't know how you can combat that. Yeah. So, I, um, yeah. I just, that just threw me off. It's like, motherfucker said, I don't know if I'm ready. He just said he didn't feel like playing. Yeah. He was cleared. That bitch didn't feel like playing. He's such a hoe. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> I do think Miles Garrett is going to sack Brock Purdy, though. Was, oh, yeah. He's going to oh, get, he's gonna get sacked. He's gonna can, get we all say the, can we all say this in unison for this next game in the name of oh, racism? Dolphins. 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 What is? Okay. <laughs> Dolphins. In, the name, in the name of anti-racist. They, 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 they're getting what they deserve, TJ. racism? <laughs> and also, hey, and also they said they picked Bryce Young because he sounded better. In interviews than, T- than uh, C.J. Stroud. So he far. was more well spoken. Oh yep. no, I gotta. Well, he so- <laughs> I gotta hit that. Ow. Yep. Really racist shit. Thank you though. <laughs> I appreciate you in your racism, Carolina. You I wanted him out. though, huh? You wanted him, right? Yeah, I, I did. Oh no, I said I was good with either one, and I I'm going against. The, I'm going. I was against, wrong because C.J. was the better. I'm player. going against the historical context here. I do this every time. I'm taking the Colts. I'm taking the Colts too. I've picked my team every this game this really season. Hard for me, man, because I. D- well, I will. I don't know. It's a tough fucking toss up. I, I was really going to say know. you say the Colts always lose in Jacksonville. That's what you told me last they year. Do you do? And they do. They do. Historically, they do. Historically, they do. It's actually kind of bad. So I don't know, but I don't. This is a, such a weird fucking season. I genuinely don't know. I want to stick with my first mind and say. That Indy is going to continue that tradition because Jacksonville falls to tradition because we beat the fuck out of them all the time. We were like nine and one. So, and they're coming back from London. Yeah, I got to go, Indy. I got to go, Indy. They suck when they come back. Um, Yeah. They're, they're like T hungover. <laughs> Ed Gardner Minshew is a better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence. I'm going with Indy too because, yeah, making that trip across the mm-hmm. pond. All is... that confidence goes, stays back in London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next game, we got the Saints at the Texans. I'm again going to take the Texans. I don't know. I'm picking the Texans. <laughs> but it's you don't know what the fuck the Saints are. sheer uh, <laughs> lack of knowledge about the Saints. I don't know what they are either. I don't know I, what's happening over know. there. No, they have Derek Carr, so they're trash, probably. <laughs> they're still somehow winning, and I don't know how. Look, I literally. And I don't know even I sit there, game. and I'm, I'm like, um, sorry, I'm using this room right here. Um... <laughs> I, you never watched a game. <laughs> Not a highlight, nothing. <laughs> Dog, I, this is sheer, like, I have no idea what the fuck's Jamal happening Williams even wore one-piece cleats to his first game. He did. And he's injured. Like, so, <laughs> tell me what's happening with the Saints. Tell me. I can't name another Saints player besides... Uh, Olave. Oh, I forgot about Olave. yeah. <laughs> Gert, who are you picking? Uh, I'm going Texans. What? I'm going Texans, yeah. I kind of don't want you to. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel insulted that you, you know, because you talk so much shit. You know who I'm going with. Oh, Kamara, that's oh, right. He's back from Saints? his sabbatical. No, those you, things are done. You have a history of picking against your that team. Was last season that when was, they were trash. As long as I've known can you. I, can I just real quick? Because <laughs> I know you all look at me a certain All Houston sports fans are this way. That's not true at all. I know right. several Houston sports fans. We all we want good teams. Look, if you're bad, we'll still support you. If you're absolute garbage, we don't have time. We just don't. <laughs> Sounds like the Joker. It's just one bad day away from being a Texans Dude. fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's true. <laughs> it might come from that all my Houston friends are, went to Texas Tech, and it's yeah. like, win or lose, we still be, booze. They still watch the Rockets play. I still do, too. <laughs> I don't know why, but I still do. It doesn't mean I'm going to buy merchandise. It doesn't mean I'm going to tell people I watch them. <laughs> watch them in private. And, and yeah, well, I'm not going to go go rock. Fuck that shit. No, we do it out of just punishment, just glutton punishment, because we this we support our teams through thick and thin, but we just don't verbally do it. You, you don't do it at all, because you pick against them all the time. That was last season, Gertz, and what's this seasons. season? Last two seasons. And you picked against them the first game of the, the first season. first game, because I didn't know what they were. Yeah. I don't trust them. The, uh, I trust them a little more now. You do well, know that they're 
your team. Who do you trust more <laughs> in the next game, the Patriots or the Raiders? <laughs> the Raiders. The Raiders, definitely. Yeah. yeah run Raiders. Hey, don't fuck this up for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy win for you guys. I have Josh Jacobs. I can't lose again. Hey, it, it's Josh Jacobs has everything. Bill Belichick. No, that's bad. Two stupid people. Exactly. No, because every every Belichick disciple loses <laughs> against him because daddy's coming and he exactly. and they get scared. Take that into account. But, Fuck, but Mac Jones. Jimmy G is <laughs> a lot better than Mac Jones. Mac Jones is terrible. Max Crosby will eat up Mac Jones. Yeah, oh god, for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I got still got to go Raiders just by default because like Belichick's a shitty coach. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna look at. I'm, I'm gonna pick the Raiders for now, but I might change this when I look at the injury report on Friday. Yeah, this is definitely one of those injury report games. <laughs> yeah, um, the Lions this and the Bucks. This might be a badass game. This one might be. Yeah, I think. Uh, I got. <clears throat> oh man, I gotta go with the Lions, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Bucks pulled this off. I'm, bi- I'm going Lions. I'm picking Lions too, but I'm going I- confidently Bucks. Mm. I'm willing to take the gamble. Me. Don't blame me. Uh, we got to meet up at three. Th- three I'm, I'm, I'm taking the Cardinals. Yeah. Card- and Cardinals. And I'm the kidding. Rams. No, nigga. I'm taking the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them Rams. Well, it's a history here. Yeah, I need I'm to sure. look it up because it's a history here of like, I don't know which one of these teams wins or loses, but like when they meet, it's always weird as fuck. So mm. I don't know. I, I think I, anytime look- anyone in the NFC West meets, it's weird. It's always yeah, weird. Okay. But no, specifically the Cardinals and the Rams. So I'm I'm going Rams now, but I, I need to deep dive into that one a little bit more. So I'm going confidently Eagles on this next one. Semicolon, however, <laughs> comma. Zachy boys do for one. So I, I don't what know. What do you mean? Do he, for what? He just has. We had a win, right? Yeah. Isn't that, yeah. I, ju- I think he also good. thinks this is a trap game, which is accurate. But I'm Maybe still picking the Eagles. At all. What the fuck? Why do you think the Jets are good? I never said that. No. No. I just like, think their defense. I said is it's good. a slacking game. It's no, a sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes okay. No, no. Okay. So Philadelphia good. Philadelphia has been playing. They're due for a loss. They're due for a loss and True. they play really close games for no reason. Yeah. I don't know why they keep doing it. They've been playing down. The Jets are feeling like this. And the Jets, unfortunately, they're confident enough if they can put something together to beat the Eagles. Yeah. If it's close. So someone said, was it you said defense, the Jets defense is good? Oh, you said Marcus Jets defense. Yes. So was the Eagles defense. It's very good. Their secondary is not that good. Secondary is not that good. That front seven is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah so, like, I'm with you, Cleon That's going to give Zach Wilson enough trouble. We know Come they're going to use that cheating play repeatedly. And the push, yeah, the tush push is going to be cheating. utilized. It's not cheating. <laughs> it's legal. We've all, we've all are on the record for liking that play. I love it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like to be- cheat. <laughs> if Roger could do if it, I could do it, legal, do it. Yeah. I would. Exactly. Yeah, no, I don't think this is even remotely close. This is about the easiest decision of this week. <laughs> Eagles, for sure. I think the next game is the easiest decision of the week. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, who's the Giants quarterback the now? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, they have a quarterback? Who? Oh, they never did. <laughs> the Giants? No, well, no Daniel Jones is hurt. Who's and backup? And uh, Bark- is Berkeley- Barkley still hurt? Saquon's still Saquon's hurt? Saquon's still hurt. Oh my yeah. God, this is going to be a massacre. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> Definitely Buffalo. Yeah, now, back. I will say... Tyrod. It'd be really funny. Oh, yeah, it'd awesome. be really funny if the Giants won. Oh yeah, it'd, it'd be, be so funny. 100%. I would. Jo- Josh Allen has some splaining to do, but it's just oh, yeah. like Josh Allen to, to yeah. lose. That's what he to does. The Giants. It is I, just like Josh. Can we Allen stop does. asking these people to not be who they are? <laughs> like Josh, this is what Josh Allen is. He's, he's the most consistent, inconsistent quarterback ever. Josh Man Forever. I'm not trading away Amari Cooper. Get away. Stop. <laughs> Josh well, Allen is a big dumb animal, <laughs> but I'm picking the Bills. Central Valley. <laughs> from the, oh, he's from your neck of the woods. Mm-hmm. That figures. Yeah, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't have that many pieces on my team. I'm not going to give away the one. <laughs> it's like um, uh, this last Cowboys, matchup. Chargers. Look, if we lose this week, I'm leaving. <laughs> they got, they got leaving the show. Very close. Fifty-two percent. Well, yeah. it's because it's Kellen Moore. It's a comeback game. Oh, yeah. revenge game. I think this game is I going to be. I know that. I think this game is going to be close, and I think it's going to be high scoring, but I'm picking the Cowboys. I'm picking the Cowboys, so I think it will be close. I'll take uh, the Chargers, dog. Oh, fuck it. I'll take the Chargers. Hell yeah. yeah I know them. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in Dak Prescott. I do. <laughs> At all. Nice guy. Hell of a guy. Sucks at football. I have more faith in Dak than I do in Brandon Staley. 
Uh, yeah, that's yes, a big decided should. factor. Yeah. You should. Damn, but I'm, also, I'm a just I'm a chop and screw that clip. But, I have more faith in Dak than <laughs> than Patrick Mahomes. Like, oh, <laughs> hey, someone clip that. Thank you. But also, Justin <laughs> Herbert is so good. Sometimes he wins in spite of. Yes, he makes up for. He does, Brent and I think Staley's this mistakes. maybe I think this is a game he'll wake up for. And Keenan the, Allen also. So. That's why I think. Now, you want to know the difference? What? And this goes back to one of our things we talked about. I'm kidding. I have nothing. You got nothing? Uh, no, because I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say the weather, but we got our ass beat in San Francisco. It it's it's matter. essentially a home game for you because you're playing. In, <laughs> you're right. I, yeah. Like, so far, yeah. Yeah. So it's, you're essentially no a home game. No one supports them there. Right. That's a Ram stadium. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's I remember healthy. when they moved, they kick out, they, they were like. That's a soccer stadium. <laughs> they they kick, can sell that shit out. And they kicked out Boltman. Yeah. They did. <laughs> Actually, Keon Sloan, you're right. Fucking you know, hell. My, I, you, you brought up Mike McCarthy and sandwiches, and he's going to be out there in California. He's going to be like, shit. They got great sandwiches. No, no, he's going to be like, shit. They got this vegan and healthy shit. He's going to take a bite out of that, be mad. Oh, no. Come to the game mad. Gonna, and that's what I want to see. He's going to get some carne fries, and mm. we'll never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> they were amazing. And I don't know why we don't utilize fries and more Mexican food here. Because they do it all day, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but but when I so said good. that's a San Diego burrito, I got in trouble and said, like, no, that's no, not just Mexican food. It was a Northern California burrito. It wasn't breakfast. It was a Northern California burrito. It was a California burrito. I've definitely had, like, breakfast tacos with potatoes in them and stuff. What's the difference? I put no the shape yeah. is different. But it's just, yeah, yeah, that's about it. it have, uh, you, have, well, Whataburger if, uses if, hash brown sticks in their breakfast tacos. That's <laughs> true. And they're delicious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we love Whataburger here. We do. Oh, yeah. I'm not criticizing yeah. them. It's not Chicago based. It's headquartered in Chicago once they bought it. And yeah. we know they who sold it technically. To a Chicago yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah. sucks now. Whataburger sucks It ain't great anymore. I don't know what the fuck you smoking. Honest. Lost its edge. TJ. No, it did. I will say this. I am. I prefer Culver's now. Yeah, really? yeah but Culver's has always been in most people's Culver's top three like yeah, hidden Culver's, gems. Culver's really Underrated good. as fuck. Those yeah. cheese curds are the shit. They got crinkle fries. Ooh, yeah, Culver's crispy. is good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. We just hungry. We just all became really fat for a minute there. Like, Ooh, yeah, we, no, we start. It's all full circle. We started off hell. We did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it did all uh, Culver's. Uh, get out of here so I can rub my nipples while thinking about Culver's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they can stay. <laughs> <laughs> check, check let st roll. <laughs> Tune back into our OnlyFans with cheese curds yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man